Hello, everybody. How's everybody out there doing today? Oh, sorry about the camera. As you guys know, my cat likes to play cameraman. Even after I adjust it, he goes and he's like, no, this is not where I like it. So today is an interesting day. Today we are starting a new colony and oxygen not included. Uh, we retired our long-term playthrough world. We got up to 400 hours. We did the monument and we launched our dupe through the tear. So today what we're going to embark on is our community monthly seed. If you guys would like to play along, I'm going to put the link to our Discord up in the description, uh, up in the chat right now. Uh, please come and join us. Uh, so, what we're doing today, we're going to start a new game. We're going to go to Spaced Out. Now, I did roll the seed already. Uh, I literally just rolled a random one. If it had come up with uh, modifiers that were kind of shitty, like stuff that people don't like to play in the community, I would have... Uh, uh, I think so, memers. You know, we had a guy out this morning, so hopefully this is the last time. If you guys notice any problems or frames dropping or any of that, just let me know, and I will call and, you know, I have no idea what I'll do at that point, but we'll figure it out. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pop that seed in there. Um, if it had had any crazy bad modifiers, I'd have just rolled another one, but I essentially blind rolled this. Metal rich magma channels. That'll do for now. We're going to start on a frozen forest. Now, I do want to change some game settings in here. First and foremost, we are going to crank, crank up every one of these things. We are going to go to critical mass radiation, threadbare uh, durability, ravenous hunger, outbreak prone diseases, draconian morale, doomsday meteors, and frankly depressing stress. Yes, it's spaced out map suds. The smaller asteroids uh posted the seed up in the discord so if you uh need to check it out it's up there um we are not gonna put care packages off i'm going to leave care packages on that'll be the one uh the one thing we leave easy so i think that saves if we just hit escape yes story traits i was uh oh is it story traits world traits where is teleporters? We're turning teleporters off. No teleporters this time. Uh, you guys don't have to play with the same settings as me if you want to play along. Uh, feel free to do it on relaxed. Feel free to do it with their settings normal or easy. However is most fun to you. Fun is an important thing. And welcome in, Suds. How you doing? Uh, so, frozen forest asteroid. Metal rich, magma channels. All of the stuff turned up to hard mode, kind of like our RimWorld 500% plays. Uh, I've never done this before, so, you know, we'll see how it goes. So, let's hit start game here. And we're going to roll dupes. Uh, gaming time, heck yeah, heck yeah. Maybe you could give me some pointers on being, uh, being on hard mode. I know you like to do hard mode a lot. Um... Now, I've got some ideas for, uh, for rolling. We are on a cold asteroid, right? So, as always, we're going to need a researcher. Um, we're going to need a builder digger, but my uh, usually I go with a builder... J-Bomb, what's up? Let's do a shout-out for J-Bomb. J-Bomb's been streaming uh, and is part of our wonderful, wonderful community. Uh, J-Bomb64, guys, if you like Minecraft, Sea of Thieves... Uh, what else are you playing, J-Bomb? Go check J-Bomb out, guys. J-Bomb's a wonderful person. Okay, so... Usually, I roll a researcher, a dedicated builder, and a dedicated digger right off the bat. But, since we're on a cold map and growing crops is going to be a pain in the ass, and we are playing on Ravenously Hungry, I think, rather than go down that path, we're going to go with a builder-digger combo, and our third one is going to be a rancher. Uh, I kind of feel like that's a necessary thing on a ma on a map like this. Um, and we're going to take our time at rolling dupes here. Decreased strength is a no-no. Uh, can't do cooking. Wait, no, no, you're supposed to be a researcher. Researcher. Your go-to starters. Okay, so we're in the right directions, guys. Suds is our resident hard mode expert. Uh, so, uh, whatever she says goes, okay? No farting. Don't like that. Immune to food poisoning, piloting strength and science. Camille, I like, I like your, I like your, uh, I mean, I prefer to have high science on a normal run, but since we don't have teleporters, having some with piloting and supplying 
along with the researching, this this is a nice pawn. And the decreased decor, I'm not overly worried about. Iron gut immune to food poisoning might have come in handy early on as well. Okay, let's try to roll a build digger. Um, should we just go to random? Let's go random and see what we can get. Construction, excavating, crop tending, not a mouth breather. No, thank you. No. That's a possibility. You know what? Let's, uh... Let's use our third slot to keep rolling. One thing I wish they did for, uh... Ani that they do in RimWorld. In RimWorld, they give you a choice of eight pawns, and then you have your three that you pick from. So you have five to roll that you can, like, kind of swap between. It makes it a little easier. to Even if they just had one extra roll spot, so you could be like, these are my three, and then you use this spot to roll, and you're like, okay, I like that digger better type of thing. But, you know, it is what it is. So let's use this to try and see if we can roll... No... No. Because we're looking for kind of an all-around dupe that can do building and digging. So, no farting. No. Agriculture, strength, creativity, no. We're going to take our time and roll some good dupes here. I would take you if this wasn't our first starting group. I like I like Devin here. Excavation, construction, and medicine. We don't necessarily need the medicine, but that gives us passions and the two things we need. Green thumb in case we do need to do some uh, do some uh, farming. Uh, we don't care about researching because Camille's going to be our researcher. Excellent. So let's swap. Uh, yeah, let's swap this out for uh, a rancher. Let's see what we can get. No loud, no loud sleeper. Um, normally, I don't mind biohazards, <coughs> biohazardous, but if we're going to play on hard mode, uh, that stuff might be a problem. I don't like Luddite across the board. Husbandry, construction, medicine, increased medicine. We got people with miners in medicine. We don't we're not a huge medicine, but I kinda like that. I mean that gives us that gives us uh, an option. Our our husbandry person can go into construction not too badly off the bat. We've got two people that could potentially make us medicine if need be. Unpracticed artist. I'm not overly worried about an artist. We've got the three to husbandry. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking that's the team. I'm kind of thinking that's the team. Yeah. Let's call that gravy. And I'm going to do a quick screen cap of it, just so we have a reference to what our starting uh, our starting three are. Uh, I'm just going to name this November Monthly, because I have enough colonies that if I don't name it that, I might forget what the hell we're doing. So, God, okay, I'm, I'm worried, because this might go horribly, horribly wrong. If it goes horribly wrong, I might adjust those settings, but we're going to try on hard mode. So let's embark, everybody. Let's see what we got. Alert. Yes. All right, immediately pause, and let's take stock of what we're doing. So if we take a look at our, our temperatures, we are definitely uh, cold sauce. Uh, we got Weezwort up here. Oh, what a... Mm. Now, I've got a normal start that I like to do, right? So, like... Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I usually like to put stuff there. That might not be feasible with the water up here. All right. I'm going to plan. September Nether CPA is what I named mine. 
Isn't it November, Suds? I swear it's November. Oh, community play along. Okay. Just to make it a little extra confusing, right? Iron ore. Already I'm okay with this. If we've got iron, we've got steel. If we've got steel, we've got rockets, we've got aqua tuners. Um, plastic is going to be uh, a jam we're going to have to deal with. Neutronium is over here, so we want to dig towards that. We've got polluted water. Uh, this is where our granite is, so that's going to be difficult to get through. We need... Okay, we got ice freaking everywhere. i got to be honest, guys. It's been a little while since I started, so... We want to get toilets up quick, quick, right? Um, so, I usually like to plan on research, door, three tiles here for research, door here. If that's the case, that makes it a little difficult to do a few things. Um, I say, let's have them crack this open this way. Because we can release the oxygen, and if they wind up... Good morning, other. Your, your beard looks amazing, as always. I'm good, Mr. Crow. How about yourself? Um, and, you know, I was saying that thing about germs, but it's a freezing map. There shouldn't be any germs. Oh, 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 the save got named that. Okay. Um, Twigglin. Okay. Let's go there. I mean, nothing is going to be perfect, right? Say door. Two, three, four... Yeah, we're going to have to make concessions as we go here. Okay, let's, uh... I think I got a plan. I think I got a plan. I think I can. I think I can. We are going to be very, very selective about dupes this playthrough. Um... I want this dug first, actually, guys. You could finish the tile you're on, but... Okay, plumbing. And medicine. So, what I'd like is two tiles for research, a door. We're gonna go temporary toilets here. Ooh, I just remembered priorities. Before we even get going here, let's get on schedules and priorities. I have a very different way of doing things than most people. So, let's, uh... Let's be ridiculous, why don't we? What I like to do is I like to stagger, and since we've got low morale, I'm going to give them three, uh, three of these. Uh, it might be overkill, and I might be shooting myself in the foot with the amount of work we get done, but if we one hour stagger... <sighs> if we one hour stagger, we should still be able to get enough work done. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go here... What is this? Is this... That's dirt. That's dirt. That's igneous. Uh, that should be okay. I think. I think it'll be okay. Posture check. Thank you, Mr. Crow. I'm good. Sailing on the Sea of Thieves and searching for adventures. That's awesome. Posture check. Stretch and hydrate the trifecta. Uh, I did buy some more. Laz, good morning. How are you? So we got a whole nother bottle after this guy when we need it. Um, <laughs> that will go there. Uh, I am a planning planning whore, so we're gonna we're gonna plan. Um Do I want that there? Yeah, because we're going to move these reasonably quickly. We just need these up for the uh, for the immediate. Oh my god, okay. That scared me. Uh, we're going to hit these at a 7 priority. Make sure those get done as soon as possible. Uh, we've got a little bit of oxalite, so we're not going to overly worry about that. In fact, I'm going to cancel that. If we absolutely have to, we can live on some polluted oxygen off of there. We've got some excellent fruit around. Uh, our dupes are going to be eating double. Uh, as far as food goes, 
Um, what are your cold restriction restrictions? Zero to forty. Go back to the seas. I don't trust the other pirates. No, I wouldn't trust the other pirates either. This is kind of exciting, guys. It's been a long time since I started a playthrough. You know what? Uh, just for our diggers' sake, let's do that. And... We're going to make sure we have ladders down. Uh, because... The idiots are going to get themselves screwed up. Welcome, Barb! Are you going to play with us? All right, we're set in the direction. And... Awesome, awesome. Uh, I picked out my dupes, we set everything on hard mode, we turned off teleporters. I know I'm an insane person. Priorities, that's what I forgot. Camille. You're going to research first, operate second. Ruby, you are our rancher, but we don't have ranching for you yet. So let's tap up ranching. Um, we're going to get you on tidying as well as ranching until you get there. Yeah, everything else can be on main priority. Devin, on the other hand, we're going to tap up building and digging. For now, that'll that'll do. For now, that'll do. Bro said hello and asked how everyone is doing this fine day. Oh, we are doing well, Laz. Uh, we had another internet tech come out today, uh, and since we've had so many issues in the past, we even had the, the manager of the regional area showed up as well. So with any luck, uh, our internet problems should be sorted. Uh, we're going to set harvest on these things. I'm not worried about harvesting the trees. We're going to leave those alone. I don't actually think we're going to be able to get too much out of these me these wild meal woods. Uh, we've got a crashed satellite here. Ooh, that's that's a little on the dangerous side considering the settings we have. But you know, we're going to roll with the punches. Uh, been a running theme of our streams this week. Good, good, good. Did you get a good nap? Alright, first and foremost, we're going to put that on an 8 for supplying. That is going on a 9. And actually, since that's the case, Devin, our, uh, our rancher, who is also... So we're going to put you on supplying, storing, and tidying, secondary... Or no, toggling? No. Life support. Okay. So you should be putting amazing. I wish I could I'd have gotten a nap uh, today, but I'm okay with it. All right, we need to get into some uh, research ASAP here. Yeah, we really should. Ooh, hatch are ready. That igneous rock should hold that water back. I'm gonna be upset if it doesn't. We flood everything right off the bat, but we'll uh, we'll see what's what. Your idol. Devin is our builder digger, so we're going to need you to... Hmm. I'm going to want to get down here. And a lot of this stuff is going to be in the way. I don't want to uproot this, but I think we might have to uproot that just to get our, uh, our ladder system going here. And in order to do that... Uh, let's put that at, like, a 7 priority. Just wondering if you want a district named after you. 
Always a hatch right there, but by the way, that might be your only one on this map. Well, then we'll take good care of them. We will take good care of them. We got a lot of pips, which I'm excited about. What do we got over here? Brine? CO2. Neutronium there, neutronium there. Not like we can crack into it till we get uh, stuff going. Uh, like I said, we're going to keep low pop and be very, very cautious about our dupes in this one. Um, Digger wants something to do. There's oxygen here. Hmm. They're not going to be able to get down until I do a thing. Um, normally I wouldn't have two ways down, but I kind of feel like... No, 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 no. Let's, let's leave it as it is right now. Let's leave it as it is. Uh, but what we will do... So you want to build and dig. Let me do this. Let's little. Let's get a little hop going across here. And that. That'll give Devin something to do, and we'll get our get our way over to here. Health is doing all right, Laz. Health is doing all right. Um, I think. Tummy tummy doesn't feel too bad. I ate a bunch of good food last night instead of shitty food, like uh. I had granola, strawberries, grapes, and some cheese and triscuits for dinner. And then I went for a round two, so I got nice and full. Uh, and then this morning I had some croissants. And then I, I put some chicken tenders on it because, God, I love chicken tenders. But we're also going to dig that stuff out on that side for a little bit of airflow. Right, we need we need some of that uh, uh, from a, some of that stuff. All right, let's start let's start pushing down as well. Well, lower priority, but let's start pushing down. One, two, three, four. So we're gonna go there, 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 which means we're going to boop that. Um. Uh, let's go with this is going to be priority four. Yes, yes. Because doing that in the water was the right idea, right? Right, Ruby? Idiots. Um, I, I was just saying, Barba, uh, this morning, oh, last night I ate a whole bunch of berries, grapes, uh, cheese and crackers, and granola. Uh, this morning I had croissants and coffee, and then after that I grabbed a couple of chicken tenders, because, as Laz said, protein, and I was in a time crunch. Uh, I really don't like starting late, but, you know, kind of had to, given the situation with the internet. Wait, is that right? Yes, it is. Okay. Now, again, I have never played on these crazy hard settings, so don't feel like you guys have to. If anybody does want to play along who just popped in and is uh, interested in playing with us, the uh, seed is up in the monthly Ani seed section. Um, we're going to do what we can to get this going. Okay, we've got the ability to get a research station up, so we're going to put that there. We're gonna go over here, snag doors. We're gonna go boop, boop, and then we're gonna go boop and boop. Uh, usually my first play in any given playthrough. Uh, that being said, we're gonna need a hamster wheel. Usually I put those over here with the battery. Um, looks like we got a bunch of aluminum, so we might forego. You know what? You're gonna have to get uh, you're gonna have to get uprooted, Arbor Tree. You're in my way. So we'll get that uprooted. Um, as far as power goes, let's get power. I 
I don't want to run the wire that far, but we're going to have to. We're going to get that going over there. The great thing about starting on a map this cold is we don't have to worry too much about overheating things. Awesome. Yeah, I went a little different than my normal. I made sure to get a rancher right off the bat this time around because we're on a cold map. Uh, and I went more spread out with passions as opposed to uh, high skill. So... Okay. All right, construction priorities. Let's go there. Let's put these on a six. That's what you usually do? Yeah, same thing with suds. If I'm not playing on the harder difficulties or on a cold map, I'll usually go uh, researcher, Dedicated builder, dedicated digger, and then worry about everything else later. But I got a feeling on this map, uh, more diversified passions and uh, a rancher right off the bat is definitely going to be a good way to go about it. So, I'm so glad we get to do this. I mean, I absolutely adored the... Uh, the 400 hour long term stream only playthrough that we did uh but it is nice to uh it is nice to get a fresh start it's been a while since i had a fresh start other than doing the monthly seeds and i was feeling kind of shitty that i couldn't really devote the time to the monthly seeds that i would like so um it's nice to be doing this on stream it's nice to be able to play along with everybody thank you guys all for coming and hanging out um yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have some fun with this, uh, and like uh, Barb, since you came in a moment late, uh, I cranked up all the settings to the max settings, and I uh, and I turned off teleporters, for me. Uh, you guys don't have to do what I do, but I, I I wanted the challenge. Julie suggested some stuff. You suggested some stuff. Everybody kind of gave some suggestions, and uh, I went with uh, I went with all of it. Now, this is not going to count as a restroom just yet, which is a problem. But we are going to move these quickly. Uh, in fact, we're probably going to move them over here. Alright, I made the decisions. We're not going to backpedal now. We're going to let the work get done. Thank you, Barb. Thank you. Uh, we're going. We're going a little hard. I've kind of. I've kind of gotten to the point where I feel like I've dialed in the basic settings. So, we're gonna take it nice and slow, very much like I take my RimWorld playthroughs. Yes, lots of oxalite. I'm loving it, suds. We got. Uh, we got these two little patches, but down here we got some patches. Then we've got some oxy ferns and pips. The pips, I think, are gonna be very helpful. I don't know how much we're going to be able to keep anything going, but what I'd like to do is get to some industry reasonably quickly, and then once we get to industry, um, I would like to... Uh, once we get to some industry... You know what? No, let's, let's put that just a little bit further back, actually. We're going to put the industry right in our main base, essentially, because... We don't care too much about heat until we get way further into this playthrough, so. Yeah. Take your time. No need to be crazy about it. Everybody's going to sleep on the floor and be annoyed at a sore back for now. Um, priority. Let's priority seven these bad boys over here. 
Uh, we want to make sure that tomorrow we get up, uh, get up our barracks. Uh, I'm willing to let him spend one night on the floor, but we need that barracks up and running quite quickly. Uh, for building, we've got these guys on a six. Got those on a five. The, uh, the offshoots on a four, digging-wise. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Um... Guys, do let me know if I'm dropping frames or we have any problems with the internet. Uh, I mean, we had even the full-time, the manager guy, you know, the regional manager come out to oversee it since we've had a lot of issues with the internet. Um, there was, you know, 99 out of 100 tests, which I didn't do 100, but an absurd number of tests tested good. And one tested just a little bit on the low side, but not as bad as it has been previously. So I'm optimistic that everything is going to be okay. But, you know, we're going to do our best here to, uh, to make sure of that. Um, and if there is a problem, I've got a direct line to that manager. And he said, don't even bother calling the company. Call me. We're going to do literally everything in our power to do this right now. And if you, uh, if you have any more problems, what we're going to do is um, call the next level up of the department and have them swap out the main line on the, on the poles. So, you know, we're, we're literally rebuilding the neighborhood so these streams can go well. I want to see these things. I want to see those. I want to see... No, I don't need to see that. I want to see that. I want to see that. I'd like to see that. Um, those I'm not worried about. I, I need to have stream working, Barb. Like, this is, this is my passion, my love, my everything. Like, as far as, like, the stuff that makes me feel good about my life. You know what I mean? Like, without streaming, I feel very lost. Uh, I mean, I love you guys. I love the community. Like, it's all just freaking awesome. Oh, you know what, Camille? Um, let's disable that real quick, because I need that battery built. If you're going to run on it and not charge the battery, we ain't going to get nowhere. Aw. God, I'm so happy. All right, so that's up. We're going to go straight into that so we can get ourselves a, uh, a dining hall. Now, once that's, that battery's up, we're going to enable the, uh, the building again over here. Yes, exactly. Uh, yesterday and the day before were very upsetting. Alright, now Camille's going to be running and is going to be researching. We won't prioritize those doors until we get a little bit more research done. It's okay, Barb. It's totally okay. I appreciate that. We do what we have to to survive, right? Get that for some airflow. If our digger runs out of progress, uh, projects, do that.
This is where the teleporters would be if anybody's interested, and space is right the hell up here. So be very careful because space is real close. Julie! Let's do a shout out for Julie. How the heck are you today, Julie? Guys, Julie is an amazing Oxygen Not Included streamer, and we are also uh, going to be streaming Stardew Valley together on Friday. Uh, it will be my very first attempt at Stardew Valley. I have never played it before. I have had everybody tell me that I have to, and I've been like, nah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And Julie was killer. Yes, you're here too. I didn't see you come in. I was waiting for you to come in. Laz said you said hi. Uh, actually, I got to use the other shout out command because there's a timer. Shout out killer jam 25. Always, uh, no, that's not how that works. I spelled that wrong, guys. Jam 25. There is the proper link, guys. Go check out Killer. Go check out Julie. Um, so anyway, yeah. So this Friday is going to be my very first attempt at Stardew. Um, Julie and I are going to be co-streaming it. He was here before you. God damn. Okay. I'm, I'm a little out of sorts, I suppose, still. Um, the internet thing has been a lot. Plus, I had some phone call meetings this morning about uh, scheduling some health stuff. And, uh, you know. You guys know me. My brain is uh, my brain is not the nicest thing to me all the time. Today we're we're being nice to the brain today, but we're not uh, we're not necessarily on high priority. Ruby, 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 Ruby. Um, actually, instead of doing that, let's just down tick operating for Ruby. And, Ruby, let's get you off the wheel. I want you to do the other stuff first, if you can. Right, IRL is a pain in the ass. Brains can definitely be tricky sometimes. Yeah, yeah, they can. Those first things I'm not going to worry too much about. Uh, I would like to get some floor tiles in up here for the sake of things. Uh, we are going to need another door. Let's call that there. So what settings did you go with for this run? Julie, I cranked all of them all the way up and then turned off teleporters. On, uh, on, on yours and everybody else's recommendation. We're going for hard mode. And I'm going to go with your goal of getting to a monument. Frozen forest, yes. And the seed is up in, uh, in chat if you feel like playing along. I know you got your all endings playthrough going though, so don't worry if you got other stuff going. And I went with a rancher, a builder digger, and a researcher. And we kind of spread uh, passions around rather than going for high stats off the bat. But given the nature of this playthrough, I want to stay low on population for as long as possible and kind of have three, rather have three well-rounded super dupes than uh, have an army of specialists uh, given these settings, so. Yeah. Um, so far we found that this is a crash satellite. Space is here. This is where the teleporters would be, where the uh, shipping stuff would be. Um, what's cool is I, I got a lot of stuff to rip apart uh, since I'm not going to be using those things. And I'm curious what this is right off the bat, but it's going to take us a little while to get some skills here. Uh, and there is iron on this map, so... Getting to steel is a possibility, and there's another point of interest here. Uh, we do have magma channels. Yeah, it's kind of like I'm doing the all endings playthrough on RimWorld, Julie. Like, I am at the point where I'm I'm doing it out of just like commitment and spite. Like, like I said I was gonna do it, so I'm gonna fucking do it. You know, like. I, there's a part of me that's like, God, wouldn't it be nice to just start a new RimWorld playthrough? And then, then there's that other part of me that's like, no, you, you've you done three out of four, you got to do it. Witchney! Witchney, welcome in. Witchney is also a streamer. How you doing? It's been a little while. What's uh, what's the good word in your neck of the woods? We're starting a new colony to get today, Witchney. I uh, retired my long-term playthrough. We did 400 hours, did all sorts of building fun stuff. 
commitment and spite. Yep. And uh, today we're starting up on the community monthly seed. If you want to play along with it. Oh, I'm sorry. But, well, it's good to see you. Even if, even if you're not streaming anymore, it's good to see you. Um, where do we want to start planning a ranch on? No, 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 not not at all. No, you're not breaking the vibe. It's it's good to see you. Um, if you want to play along with us, the uh, the seed number is up in the uh, the community uh, the community area. Um, do I want to plan on more dupes? I don't think I care about planning on more dupes. We got a barracks. We really need to get a washroom more uh, washroom bonus. Um, how do I want to do that, though? I'd kind of like this to be the washroom over here. But right now, it's our power room. So we're going to do a little flip-flopping, in theory. Uh, what I'm thinking is we're going to wind up with basin, basin, basin. And then boop, boop, and boop. But we're going to have to do some flip-flopping. So let's start with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to move over here, get three three of each up, and then we're going to delete these and move these guys over here. It's a little bit of extra work, but I think it's well worth it. We're already running low on food, and I don't... Not running low, but I don't like that no food stuff. Uh, we do have excellent fruit, so we're going to auto-harvest that. We'll probably have to force somebody into farming to make it work uh, to get that all harvested up. I've just started a new one and getting in a good situation, so I'll pass. All right, sounds good, sounds good. No obligation any which way. No shit, that's a good first print, suds. Okay. I mean, yeah, if you've got a digger, a ranch, a digger builder, a rancher, and a researcher, and then you roll a supplier operator, that's freaking, that's a good, uh, that's a good roll. Yeah, we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to work on aggressive expansion in this. Uh, this has got to be like, we need to get all of the found food. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dig out all the cracks I can find along the way. Not that one, of course, because we're holding the water back. Um, there's a nice grouping of cracks up there that we might be able to get some food out of. And we have the Hexalent fruit, so we can always... We can always pop somebody to a double priority in farming to get the Hexalent going. Definitely want to stay low as much as possible here. Low pop, I mean. Okay. Okay, nice start going here, everybody. Very nice start going. Very happy with it. I'm gonna have to, this goes back to like when I first started when I was like aggressively just keeping my eye on that uh on that calorie count. There are a bunch of cracks over here. Alright, not quite yet. We got priorities. We have priorities. Okay, so two, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna put that there. I 
I love that about this game, that you get all of the resources back when you break something. RimWorld is not like that. Um, although RimWorld does have a lot easier time getting renewable resources with the deep drills. You can always pull chunks out of the ground and cut blocks with them. Uh, so, you know, it's a little give and take as it goes, right? Our dupes are definitely not going to be happy about temperature. Let's dig that out. Alright, we've gotten through almost three cycles without pee on the floor. That makes me happy. Nobody is starved to death and there's no pee on the floor. Um, I mean, maybe a sandwich, right? <sighs> On it. <laughs> Love you, Barb. Going to research. No, 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 no. Nobody researches except Camille. Is Devin digging instead of filling the toilets? Oh, Ruby is the one that should be dig do doing the toilets. Cheese and crackers. That's all. I had some cheese and crackers last night, so it's... Um... Why is Ruby... Oh, because it's already on 15 visits remaining. That's why. That's why. Okay. We're good. We're good. Uh, okay. So this is a forest start, so no electrolyzer in the cards. Um, or no, uh, no algae, whatcha doozle, who's a what's it's. Um,. All that jazz. Keeping an eye on that research. I love to be game time efficient early in the game. Okay, that's done. So let's go over to furniture tables. Nope, misclick. Uh, let's go into research. Very next thing on our research agenda is... Where is advanced research? Going into advanced research. That's probably going to drop some polluted dirt or something, so...
I like to be pretty organized. I know some people just go with the straight up most chaotic build they can do, but I, uh, I like to keep things reasonably well organized. Now, we're gonna need a decor item to get to a great hall. The problem is keeping a plant alive is not gonna be easy with these temperatures, so... wire there, so we're going to get, actually, yeah, we'll let them deconstruct that. Choose a blueprint. Uh, we did leave care packages on. I'm not willing to go that insane. Noodle arms, no. Um, we already have a rancher. Medicine, creativity, husbandry, no. We'll take the salt water. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I forget to eat a lot too, Julie, but you guys know that already. Yeah, yeah, I, I know that. I know that game. <laughs> Is our breathability not freaking good? Okay. Good stuff. We are running low on calories already, though, so we're going to have to have somebody harvest this hexalent reasonably soon. Early game, I wind up having to flip-flop things a little bit uh, in general, so... Um, now... Hmm. God, this increased, uh, calorie thing is, uh, is intense, isn't it? That goes a lot faster than I would like. Yeah, that is that is intense. We're probably going to end up mushing. Not really seeing any way around mushing if that's going to be the thing, but we need uh, we need a dedicated cook if we're going to have any chance of it actually functioning properly. You're welcome, killer. Happy to help.
Oh, good. I'm glad they planted that there. That's going to come in handy. Okay. We got a good start going, everybody. Looking looking forward to this. So, yeah, we're going to be doing this tomorrow uh, as well as today. Uh, we got a little bit of a late start today. Normally I stream noon to 6, Monday to Friday guaranteed, and then a lot of times on Saturday as well. This Saturday I do have a dentist appointment, so I can't do that. Uh, I'm probably not going to stream on Sunday either because even if I get some good, even if uh, Saturday goes nice and smooth and nothing is too hurtful or anything, uh, I'd like to spend some time this weekend actually working on some of my produced YouTube content. It's been a little while since I've been able to do a video for my uh, solo Minecraft world, so I'd like to get that going. Um, I did a lot of work over the weekend as far as VODs and shorts being uploaded loaded to YouTube, so uh, very happy about that. We're going to put that guy right down there. Stations, what did we get? Crafting station, not yet, not overly worried. We're going to do that. Clapping. Excellent clapping. Breathability is just not good. Is it oxalite meteor showers? Ooh, that's not bad. I like that. That should help. Oh, look. Cool salt, cool slush guys are up here on the upper left. I want to break in here because that oxalite's going to help us with air. We are going to have to go into ranching so fast, and I think our first ranch is probably going to be either, yeah, probably right here on this level, because we'll be able to dig that out for the most part. All right, you're going to harvest the Hexalent. That's excellent. Ha-ha! That's real close up to space there. Fighting the cold is such a different animal than fighting the heat. You know, you would think that fighting the cold would be easier than fighting the heat, but for some reason it really, it really does make it a lot more difficult sometimes. Pipes freezing and all of that nonsense, you know? That Hexalent got us where we need to go a little bit. That Oxygen is going to get us going. Um, a 
I want to get all of the uh, these things down here because we don't have carbon skimmers yet. So let's dig that out so we can get these moved. Lots of batteries. Hello, Emily. Welcome into the madness. I turned up all of the settings on the monthly seed and uh, turned off teleporters. So uh, we're, we're seeing how Nether does on uh, Ani hard mode. How are you doing today? We're getting close on Camille's skills, which is good. And we're not going to worry about those just yet. Actually, yeah, we'll put those on a five. Oh, you want to name the researcher Julie? Yeah, no problem. That's Camille. Um, you want it to be Julie Pixels? If, it, if you wanted something different, let me know. Okay, Julie is now our researcher. Twenty nine thousand calories, not too bad. Not not amazing, but not too bad. Ah, uh, mess hall. All right, that'll be fine. Even if they crack this open, it'll still be a mess hall. Uh, we could start getting a kitchen going as soon as we get somebody who can cook. Research complete. Excellent. So we're immediately going to get our supercomputer down because that'll give us a room bonus over here. Which is going to help uh, Julie do some research. Get it together, Julie. <laughs> I love it. Chaos rules. Why are you doing that? Oh, because I don't have research selected. Bad nether. Very bad nether. Um, I'd love to go into decor, but we're not going to... Yeah, let's not go directly into decor. What, what I do want to go into real fast... Let's get electrolyzers up as soon as possible. Okay, pretty happy with the first four cycles here. We've got a mess hall. Oh, we need to get this on at a Hypothermia is going to be a thing. Camille's story is really great, even on secondhand tell. Yeah. Get it together, Camille. 
Julie Noha, right? It might have been rude now that I think about it. Um, I think I've told Julie, right, Julie? So my friend, uh, Winter Morning, in our Discord, uh, I've known her real life for a long time. Uh, her first uh, playthrough or two of Oxygen Not Included, she was uh, she had a Camille as her, like, hauler uh, supplier type person, right? And... Um, stuff wasn't going in the boxes. She was learning about priorities and like how to get people to do what you want. And so we're just playing and I hear her go, get it together, Camille. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's why Camille is uh, generally one of my favorite colonists. Camille and Nisbet are like my top tier favorite colonists. Um, so for a little bit of, let's do that. I'd like to be able to grab that right there. Um, and we've dug down for carbon. I think it might be time to prioritize digging up so that we can get uh, our open air electrolyzer in a good spot. that all queued up. Also, now my belly is full, so like a dragon, I'm content. Nice! And when we get over here, I'm going to want to want them to get that going. This is going to be an interesting playthrough, everybody. A very interesting playthrough. Yeah, it's such a good game, right, Barb? I mean, I've told the story a million times, but I'll tell it again. I actually ignored this game on Steam. I was like, nah, it doesn't look good. And I found Francis's channel because I was, uh... I was, I was watching his uh, RimWorld content, right? And... Francis, obviously you guys know, does a lot of Ani. And I ran out of RimWorld content, was looking for new stuff to watch, and I was like, you know what, I like Francis. Let me, uh, let me just watch his Oxygen Not Included content. Maybe, uh, maybe it'll be fun to listen to in the background just to have his name on. Uh, just to have his voice going, because I love the way he talks and everything. And so, I, I was watching it and watching it, and I gradually started to like the game, especially watching him play it, right? And even then, when I started liking the game, I was like, I don't know if I actually want to play this. Because I feel like I'm just going to be a Francis clone. Like, I'm just going to play exactly the way Francis does. So, if that's going to be the case, then maybe I don't need to play at all, you know? Like, may maybe, like, maybe it's just better to let him do his thing and watch him play. Because, you know, if I'm going to play exactly the same as him, do I really need to play myself? And then there was the last day of the sale. Uh, it was on sale for 14 bucks for everything. Yeah, nobody plays like him. He's a madman. But you know what I mean, like, he's like the sensei type of thing. Like, you're like, oh, the goal is to try and play like Francis. Yeah. <laughs> he's nuts. Nobody's quite there yet on the skills. It's a game you watch and then you want to try stuff yourself because watching doesn't do it anymore. That's how you... Th yep, exactly, Emily. Exactly. It's like, oh, well, I want to be able to do that. I want to play with volcanoes. I get mad at watching people play a game wrong and want to do it better. <laughs> I'm a mess. Well, I hope I'm not driving you crazy then, Julie. Oof, 
for. Got about seven days of food. That's fine. Seven cycles of food is plenty for now. Ani is just one wrong thing stacked on another, so there isn't really a right or wrong way to play. No, the only wrong way to play is if you're not enjoying yourself. I needed to learn to accept different play styles. It is hard watching noobs, though. You know, I enjoy watching people new to the game. It's that, like, watching someone have that excitement about it. Like, you know, like, not knowing what to do. Because you can never go back to your first time. Emily, you you t you say that, but your napkin math kicks my freaking calculator math's ass. So, love hate, yeah. Oh, and what I do love is you can go slow and chill and talk to everybody. It's a great stream game because it's not like it's not nearly as high stress as um, as RimWorld. I mean, it is high stress, but RimWorld has got that added like, oh shit, we're getting raided. People want to murder us. I mean, the dupes try hard to get themselves killed, but you know, I can leave this on a one, take my hands off, and be like, I've got enough work queued up. Let me talk to everybody in chat. Let's have a conversation. You know, all that good stuff. So. It's definitely one of those things I really like about the game. Alright, we got pumps. We're going into electrolyzers. Then we're going to need a few bits and bobs to get this thing going uh, better. But some of the cozy type games that I like to watch and play, they folks just read or see the most obvious stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't read. See how I just didn't read what you said about not reading? All right, it looks like Julie just got to level up, so you go into advanced research. If anybody else wants to name a colonist or Minecraft where you look away, then Creeper. Yeah, yeah. Creepers can be a pain in the ass in Minecraft. Fourteen degrees. Got to keep checking on, uh, yeah. I don't know which IRL scientist Camille is named for. I do not. I think that's an interesting, interesting fact, though, if you have it. I kind of want to break the rules here. What rules? I can be quite the rule breaker myself. There's Camille Ward Wardrop a Aileen, who is... Trinidadian aerospace engineer. Oh, cool. Do all of the dupes kind of have that type of backstory? Dibs on the next Nisbet. You got it, Emily. Give some clues. Okay. That's interesting. I like that. I love when developers put that kind of like neat little Easter eggy fun fact type stuff in there. God, there is so much I want to do. I'm sorry that you're stressed, Ruby. We'll try and get your morale, morale up even higher. Lemurian, a French astronomer. Interesting. Um... 
mean, I suppose we could just start getting a pump going for the... In no, 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 no. Let's not... Not build anything we don't absolutely need need to. We got we got work that's got to get done that uh, has got to go in the right order of operations here. Magma channel. Excellent. Or core? No, magma channel. That's going to be useful. We could find a way to get some plastic, one way or the other. We could go into geothermal. Ooh, I like these cracks up here. Let's get some of that action queued up. That's granite. We're not there yet. What are our skills on? Devin. Okay, um, I think we gotta go digging on Devon first. It's hard to do long-term planning this time around because I'm uh, I'm already nervous about the food. I feel like I did the first playthrough I had about nervousness with food. You're coming up on the next cycle. It might be nice to get another set of hands, but at the same time, like, slow and steady like we were saying... Do want them to uproot, uproot and move these oxy firms down here. Electrolyzer might have been just a little hasty. There might have been some other stuff we could do in the meantime. I don't see any coal, so we don't need to go directly into coal. We do kind of need to get into hydrogen power, though. Yeah, spaced out asteroids, right? Where is the park sign? There. We'll let her finish electrolyzers. Uh, frozen forest? So, is that moonlit? Oh, the cold. God, I'm tempted to just crack into that and let the heat heat up the map until it's nice and, uh, nice and evened out. Moonlit Cluster, Frozen Forest, yes. You love Moonlits? First time trying to, first time doing a Frozen Forest start, like legit. When I first got the game and after I was messing with my first playthrough or two, I took the time to start and do somewhere between 10 and 50 cycles on every map just to get a feel for like what type of asteroid they are. Um, oh, I see chlorine and phosphorite. Is it possible? Oh, there is coal over here. Interesting. This looks very much like a uh, Draco type biome, but.
Okay, what I'd like to go into next is that right there. Yeah, so much like yesterday, we're going to go until we feel like stopping or I get hungry or sleepy or whatever the case may be. We started an hour and a half late, so normally by this time we're at the halfway mark. Um, but we're going we're gonna to take this as, uh, as slow and steady as we can. We are going to want to get a massage parlor up, too. Um, Ruby earned a skill point. You are going to be our rancher, so we need to get you into ranching. Would like to get, like, a supplier tidier. I think that would be very helpful. But I mean, with uh, we don't have a reliable food source even remotely going yet, so that's not even uh, it's not even a reasonable thing. Um, I haven't uncovered any vents just yet, Barb, other than the uh, cool slush geyser that's up here at the top. Um, I'm playing pretty slow, so my digger doesn't have hard enough digging yet. So, what are you planting? Yeah, of course you planted it there, right near the oxygen. Can we, uh, can we uproot these and move them, please? A lot of oxyfern seeds hidden in here. It's the only remotely warm thing on the planet. Oh, really? Because th this is pretty warm down here. I apologize for the... Uh, loud thing. Okay, so we've got hard digging, right? So that means we can start cracking uh, cracking into the other biomes that are behind granite. Which direction do we want to go? I want to go where these cracks are is whatever I want to go. I want these.
Leave that there, please. That was a dumb move on my part to have that uprooted. Please get these two segments built. What do we got on the second printable? Coal is not bad. Pacifist mouth breather, no. Flatulent, no. Building impaired, no. We'll take the coal. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, you must succumb to the feline overlords. That's four. Oh, no, 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 no. I want that. No, that's fine. That is fine. Dear God, that's loud. 52,000 calories. All right, we don't have to worry too much about calories for right this moment. What are you going to do for Atmo suits? Um, since we don't have reed fiber, I'm probably going to build a steam rocket to go to the next planet and use oxygen masks to get a start there. Uh, we might have to build a canister filler to fill canisters with oxygen uh, in order to keep enough oxygen on the ship to do what we need to do. Unless something else reveals itself, that seems to be what the plan has to be. Where is Julie? Oh, eating. Um, I know it doesn't look like a lot, but that seems like enough work for everybody to be cute. I found something else warm too, but I won't spoil. All right, sounds good, suds. God, the cold. I have not had stress this high in a, like ever. Low oxygen, yucky lungs. Oof. So... Yeah, okay.
Oh, that's gonna be fun. My game doesn't launch. That's a bummer. Ooh, two tiles of algae so far. Yay! Really? Don't know where the algae is, but good to know that some might exist somewhere in this world. Oh, right over here. Yeah, I see four tiles of algae. Six in total. I'm going straight into electrolyzers. I do. I do love this game. Uh, you know that there's a degree of stress that I need for a game to actually pique my interest, so... Might should have gone into deodorizers sooner. That is what it is. What, deodorizers? Eh. Normally, I don't even worry about it. It's the... It's the yucky lungs thing that they're not happy about that's causing stress that makes me want to do it. In general, I don't worry about it, and I just let them breathe the polluted oxygen, but... Beard stroke moment. There is an emote for that that Barb made if anybody wants to uh, wants to play with it. But with this much polluted water, it's basically free oxygen. Yes, exactly. That's how I feel about it as well. Definitely going to need more batteries, but got to actually get the electrolyzer running first. This time the game actually told me which mod was faulty and I, did ha I didn't have to remove all of them. That's awesome. I still have no mods installed. I, I subscribed to a few but haven't actually uh, activated them. I do want to get over and get at that coal, but... Hmm. I mean, it's nice to have iron. 
The plastic is going to be the pain in the ass thing, but... Oh, I do visual and UI stuff only. Nothing that changes gameplay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. That's usually what I do with these type of games as well. I just haven't done it yet in this game. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do some uh, some of that action. Almost have what I want on the research, then we could plan for the next bit. Ah, I'm gonna have myself a little drink of some lemonade. Cheers, everybody. And a stretch from Barb. Thank you, Barb. Oh, a little back pop there. Mm. Oh. Oh. That cool slush geyser may come in very handy when it comes to uh, getting a source of oxygen. Although... Yes and no. Yes and no. And we've got a bit of clean water. If we don't over-research and we get to the point where we have filtration, could be okay. If I load the seed, it's only the map but doesn't apply your settings, right? Yes. Yes, Emily. The settings, the settings are all, uh, you can set them however you want. First time I did it, too. I checked it last night just to make sure that's the way it works. All right, research complete. So, furniture, park sign. Let's put you here. Yeah, all of them cranked up. It actually changes the seed when you adjust the settings. You can put out certain setting seeds. Oh, really? I didn't know that, Suds. Is it the same map, though? Because I, I put the seed up without changing the settings. Okay. Uh, I applied the settings today. Like, I, I rolled the seed, copied the seed, and then today I, I loaded it and then, uh, and then put the settings there. Okay, cool. All right, next up on research. I think we still got a minute before we get into critter ranching. So what else do we want to snag real quick? I think we go into deodorizers and carbon skimmers and then probably into filtration after that. Oh, and plumbed toilets and carbon skimmers could be a thing. Although, uh, we do have a lot of, uh, what are they called? Oxy ferns. They're probably going to do us until we can get some time. You're out of food. Time to start mushing. You did go up to four dupes already, right? So, 
And there is Nightbot being a good streamer for me, guys. If you uh, if you want to come play with us on the seed, check out our community, play on our Minecraft SMP, uh, just hang out with a bunch of chill people who like to have a good time, make jokes, and enjoy helping each other out and supporting each other. Discord link is up there. Also, my YouTube link is up there if you want to check out some of my VODs, my RimWorld playthroughs, as well as little clips from uh, Ani and other games. I'm at six dupes, but I'm only on medium hard, not hard hard. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm staying on three until I get, like, really good offers. I'd rather play slower. Never played on max difficulty. I was, I, I will so embarrass myself. Well, I'm hoping I don't, but if I do, you guys will all be here to see it. There's no chill. What do you mean? There's plenty of chill. <laughs> I can't I can't believe I did that. <laughs> you wanna chill? I I did, Barb. I totally did. Okay, there's part of me that's like, oh, up the up the speed, but I am just gonna take it nice and slow, nice and slow. Good, good. Yeah, if you guys see me do anything funny, stupid, or interesting, please do clip it. I uh, I've been trying to get better about putting clips up on YouTube and stuff. I've got a bunch of stuff uh, scheduled out. Barb and Killer and uh, a couple of other people have been so nice as to clip some really cool stuff. So appreciate it. And now we've got a nature reserve. Laboratory, um, latrine, mess hall, barracks, and nature reserve. We should be good on morale for a while. I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. Mess hall, barracks, laboratory, latrine, and nature reserve all up by cycle eight. I'm, I'm happy with that progress. As soon as we can get this electrolyzer going, I'll be uh, I'll be even happier because we'll be producing some oxygen. I uh, would like to get some airflow tiles under it, you know, get some stuff flowing down a little bit. And then we got to get into gas pumps so that we can circulate our oxygen. Uh, reservoirs and hydrogen power so we can recycle our hydrogen. Yeah, pretty killer jam raiding with a party of one. We already shouted out killer, but since you're raiding as well, killer, we'll do another shout out. How you doing uh, coming in, uh, killer? You working on your RimWorld playthrough or you got something else going today? All right, so we're getting the gas pumps. We're going into airflow tiles, deodorizers. Double audio. Cities too, gotcha. What do you mean double audio, memers? Is it uh is it because you're watching you were watching Killer and myself at the same time or I watched like three or four 
Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Makes sense. I do that stuff all the time. I'll have sometimes like three or four streamers up. Let's pop that hole. Why did it caps lock out of nowhere? Um, I thought that was on purpose to illustrate how how excitedly hilarious you think everything is, but um, your guess is as good as mine if it wasn't on purpose. All right, I think it might be time to start filling in the gaps in the ladders. Check something real quick. Okay, they can still get over there. Excellent. that done even quicker because we need some place for all of that hydrogen to go and we can slice that off I do think everything I, I excitedly hilarious you know me yeah no teleporters makes it an extra challenge I think yes uh, with teleporters, I'd be pretty confident in my ability to get things done, but we are going to have to pull some trickery out of our buttholes in order to, uh, in order to do this without teleporters. Julie made that suggestion, I believe, and, uh, who knows if I'll actually be able to, uh, to actually pull it off, but we're going to try. I mean, if our goal is actually a monument, like, it might be easier than I think to pull off. Normal Terra asteroid. So I'm betting there's Drekos there. All right, so that thing is going to keep them running nonstop, isn't it? Research is going to come to a crawl unless we get some more batteries going. Where do I want to put the batteries becomes the question. I'm tempted to put a battery bank up here. Although we're going to be able to get heat out of the electrolyzer, so... Many, many thoughts going through my head right now. What are we researching? Our way to deodorizers. That might have been a mistake. Let's go into jumbo batteries first. They can be upset about deodorizers. Um, Devin, hungry, major eye irritation. Gotcha. Ruby. Okay. That crash satellite, it may come in handy when we get to radiation, but it is definitely going to be in the way. 
Um, and such, since radiation is such a pain in the ass, we're going to kill the shine bugs. I do not need shine bugs causing radiation poisoning. And I'm going to stay the fuck away from this till we're ready for radiation research. It's a little bit more breathable in here. Um, how are we on skills? Anybody got a skill yet? Devin, Julie, Ruby. Julie is going to get to this next skill quicker because she's the one researching nonstop. The electrolyzer, even with our low amount of battery stuff, is going to kick out enough. Um, how do I want to do this? I might just put a battery bank up right next to the electrolyzer because that's going to minimize. We could also put up like a uh, hydrogen setup up here. Yeah, I'm going to make that call right now. Let's uh, we'll switch to the jumbos after, but for now. Right, breathability there sucks. So let's start. Start getting that going a little bit more. You haven't had coffee yet? Should definitely get on that. Let's, uh, let's in theory start prepping for a fourth person. Uh, I would, I would like to bring on a fourth person in theory. Um, I say in theory because unless they're good, I don't, I don't want anybody just taking up space and I don't want anybody causing problems. Let's also break that so that oxalite gets released. Our, uh, our, our rancher is definitely still a ways out on a level to get into ranching. So that being said... ah, uh, I had my coffee early today, so I haven't even... Like, uh, I haven't had coffee in a while, but I'm feeling pretty good. I didn't go to sleep super early or anything, but I went to bed early enough-ish. Combat is fine. It's it's a shine bug. No problems are going to happen there. Yeah, I'm, I'm very, very tempted to get an additional cup, but I've learned if I go beyond three, it causes me, uh, causes me problems. I mean, not major problems, but definitely like that, like, oof, shouldn't have done that problems. Right, guys, how many times do I have to uproot and move these? I'm going to have to lock those freaking... Uh, I might have to ranch them down here and then lock them. Yeah. Because they're just, they're just not planting where I want them to plant in theory. Get those batteries built. That way Julie can actually get some research done. Because even if she fills that battery, she's going to be back on that wheel quickly. Hydrate. Thank you, Barb. Let's crack open the fresh, uh, the fresh lemonade. In real life or in the game, Suds? Because I'm chilly in the game, too. Huh? 
IRL. I'm waffling a lot on my research at the moment. I mean, we're getting the small batteries in, but the big batteries are being researched. God, I might... Mm. That's the problem early on, right? Is everything needs to get researched. You know what? Let's cancel some of them. We'll, we'll get two more batteries up, and that'll leave space for us. So your actual seed with settings should be if I did this correctly. Okay. Thirty-five thousand is a problem. So six, twelve, twenty-four. Six, twelve, twenty-four. So we got about five cycles of food. Breathability is looking a lot nicer. Is the batteries what I really want to be going into? Kind of is, right? Because we need to get the hydrogen anyway. Okay, let's let that go. Hit escape. These, oh yeah, MFRZC11127491919C60101. C3. All right, cool. Be nice to get a cook. That way I could have someone work in the musher. How many friggin' oxyfern seeds are on this map? So one, two, three, four. So we've got a we've got one here. Two, three, four. There. One, two, three, four. And there. One, two, three. There.
enough to feed an army of pips. What are we feeding pips? Oh, the oxy ferns. Ooh, food? Yes, please, food. Excellent. Free food. Oh my god. When I get ranching, I'm putting a door here, and I'm friggin' ranching all these pips to the bottom of the goddamn map to plant the oxy ferns. They keep coming down here and getting the seeds and bringing them back up here. Hydrogen gas down here, and igneous, and coal. Neutronium over here, so we've seen the right side of the map. If that's the right side and this is the center, left side should pretty much be right over here. I did remember, but do pips eat oxy ferns? I thought they eat eight arbor trees. Ruby's not even halfway to a level. Okay. Okay, and they built that tile so we can get that in there. And we'll put another one of these in here. We're kind of anticipating getting up to five dupes. I think five is generally a good number. They taste it. Ah, I gotcha, I gotcha. Because they put it in their mouths. Now I get it. I, I understand what you're talking about. See, there they go, the bastards. Right, not, not even playing anymore. Let's deconstruct that. I love you too, Barb. I would love to get an operator supplier so I could have Camille stop running on the wheel. Or Julie stop running on the wheel. Beard, 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 beard. This is going to be weird. That's kind of too bad we don't have someone dedicated to go into building. We just break that tile, got access to a good amount of uh, stuff here. Although that's vacuum. We've got two kilos per tile up here. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you again for making that, Barb. God 
and pips. Aw, thank you. Not as worried about food as I was when we first started, but still kind of worried about food. I haven't accidentally screwed up any of my room bonuses, so that's good. Let's give them another thing to stand on, get our pathing a little nicer. Food, air, food and air and pee, right? Food, air, and pee. And none of the pips got locked down there. You know what, though? At this point... No, let's get the ranching stuff done first. Because it's going to take her a long time to do any research while she's on the wheel. I might actually stop digging and expanding and I might set somebody else up to operate first that way Julie can continue researching without problems kind of depends on who we get on cycle 12 I think I'm willing to let it go at the current priorities until then maximum 64 go out to there. I barely remember four starts. What do you even do for proper food production? Um, I got a rancher. So as soon as, uh, as soon as we get them high enough level, I'm going to start going into, uh, hatch ranching for meat. Uh, probably going to end up micro mushing a lot since we seem to have water. Um, and we have pips for dirt. So get enough heat for the arbor trees to grow so the pips can eat the wood, poop, dirt, and then micro mush dirt and water into mush bars. And uh, put down enough batteries to warm up an area to actually farm, which uh, not even sure how I'm going to do that one. Preparation, that's the wrong button. We're gonna put that there. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that's my plan, too. We'll go from hypothermia to scaldings, right? This is where we micromanage a few things. Turn that pump off because we've got plenty of air at the moment. 
And that is why I should have put the battery somewhere else. But that doesn't matter, because if the electrolyzer does not is not getting water, it won't pump on. Okay. God, I missed this game. I mean, it's funny, like... I tend to get addicted to whatever game I'm playing, right? Like, I've been playing the shit out of RimWorld, and I, I got up today, and I'm like, you know, I'm excited to play Ani, but ah, it's not RimWorld. I really kind of want to play more RimWorld. Like, that playthrough's going good. I really want to play it. And then I get on, and I start doing this, and I'm like, fuck, yeah, Ani, I missed this game. It's like, I just get so addicted to whatever I'm doing because they're all good games. Slow and steady wins the race. I'll try to the weekend and then the napkin math. You appreciate so much will fall apart hilariously. I one thing I'd like to learn how to do is the math for counterflow heat exchange. Uh I can copy a design for stuff like a petroleum boiler, but I just, I cannot understand for the life of me how you actually do that math. It's so fun. I don't want to play anything. Else. Yes, exactly. Minecraft is so much fun. Ani is so much fun. RimWorld is so much fun. God, I can't wait to play Portal. You know what? I could actually... I could leave these doors open. Because there's nothing going in or out that I care about. And we don't need them closed to get the room bonus, right? These we need to... Well, these we need to leave closed. Actually, we could open these. And try and trap one of those pips down there. There we go. Twenty-nine thousand four hundred and seventy-five. Very quickly getting nervous. Good thing is my PC is too weak for never for newer games, so there isn't much temptation for me. Yeah, I mean that is that is so definitely a looking on the looking on the bright side, silver lining thing, right? So three is one, or no, six is one day, 12 is two days, 24 is four days. We are definitely getting to that point where I might have to swap someone over to doing mushing full time. Which would really, really cut into things. Could definitely use a full time cook. God, usually I look at the map and I've got like a solid plan with the but with this like this hard mode food and stuff. I'm not even sure.
like an it feels too too weird to temp temp checks and not get jump scared by an orange screen right i'm uh, i'm getting jump scared by the uh, the blue screen though like i see this blue creeping in i'm like oh water's going to freeze water's going to freeze What's jump scaring me with my settings is that. Yep. Uh, I've played like a little bit of rhyme, Emily. Not much. Enough to learn a few things, which is why I set up the water to rotate instead of going straight into the electrolyzer. Um, but yeah, not enough to have like a, a, a concrete plan going in here. Right, yeah, favorite series. Chernobyl? Now, I've heard of Sherlock, the one you were talking about. I have not heard about Chernobyl, I don't think. Hey, look, another Oxyfern seed. Nice. Can I please get some buried food here, guys? I would really like to not micro mush, but Ooh, oxalite meteors. Interesting. Of course, there's oxalate right here that I'm now tempted to go and get, but there's way too much radiation for me to want to deal with that. Genuinely one of the best cinematic pieces I've ever seen. Ooh. Oh, I love magma. God, I am tempted to set up a thermal injector at one point for the magma for a for a farm. It would mean needing to get to steel, but we should have enough eggshells. We could set up a rock crusher to get lime from the eggshells, because we do have plenty of critters just hatching and going. Um, if we could get a couple of pieces, if we get enough steel for two two doors and four tiles. I mean, we might end up with a couple of scaldings, but I bet I could build it quick enough. Don't do it? What? I mean, we got time on that one, for sure. I'm a sucker for a good thermal injector setup. I really am. I love thermal injectors. Oh, chlorine vent. I'll be a little bit of that. Now I see what you're saying, Barb. I've never tried it before. What happens if I put polluted water into an electrolyzer? Uh, it will break it from element damage. From element damage, you need to sieve it. It's kind of like putting oxygen into a um, hydrogen generator. I'm going to need to get to steel quickly because with doomsday meteors, polluted oxygen would be a better co outcome. Maybe. Yeah, I guess.
Oh, nobody can dig that. That's why they're not going that way. Gotcha. I was like, don't they have stuff to dig? All right, let me pause and think about what we're doing. I think we're at the point where I should start digging out and getting ready to put in a ranch. I also think we're at the point where coring out everything in general is probably a good idea. <sighs> Got to think about putting a micro musher and a proper kitchen in. Huh. All right. I think what we got to do here is uh, I got to take my first uh, restroom break here. Oh, my God. I have spent the whole day listening to Mr. Bungle playing What the World Needs Now. It's so I love that song. It's one of the best covers ever. Um, yeah. I'm going to take a quick restroom break and ponder uh, while I uh, stand up and walk around. I often come up with my best ideas when I'm not in the seat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up the link to Bobby's uh, band page and Spotify or not looks like nightbot commands are not working there we go there we go they're working just a little delayed so guys if you enjoy the music from the be right back screen or from the starting screen or any of my time lapses uh bobby uh from the electric delirium did it all for me so go check him out give him some love and i'll take that chance and go sleep it's too late already all right sounds good emily you have a great night thanks for coming in thanks for hanging out today uh, I'll see everybody in just a few moments. I'm going to uh, go take care of that.
All right, guys, I am back, and let's let's talk priorities here. So, our list of things: hydrogen power, plus gas reservoirs, plus gas element sensor. That's going to be important, um, and that's got to go along with the smart battery. So that's like our that's our power slash oxygen setup in a in the bag if we can get that sorted, right? <clears throat> Food is a concern. We've got about four cycles of food and no dedicated cook. So getting a micro musher up and we might have to take our rancher Ruby and put him into primarily food until we get somebody else who can sort that out. Speaking of which, we need to start working on how we're going to get a ranch going. Um, we've got a couple of options, but none of them are really amazing, right? So if we put a ranch here, we're going to be space limited by this building over here. Um, will we? Uh, kind of. It's kind Well, hold on. Where's 100 tiles? Actually, no. It's probably our best candidate because we could use the existing tiles. So I think as far as coring the place out, which is, you know the secondary goal to the things we're talking about because you know ripping everything out getting the resources getting ourselves established with what we want to do um i think this is a good place for our first ranch that'll get us into coal speaking of which we have some coal and we have coal we can dig into so there's that you know not a lot but there is bits and pieces of coal around um that chlorine is going to help with some temp because it's not fully blocked in this way uh, okay, so we've got a power goal, we've got a food goal. Oxygen is alongside the power goal. Ranching is a goal. So, yeah, let's finish the ranching first, because we'll soon enough be into ranching. So that's the research we need to finish first. Um, we need to get into rock crushers to get refined metal so that we can start getting ourselves... Well, not necessarily, because we can... I mean, yes, in the sense that we want to get to the, the metal refinery, but we don't need to race there. We need to get a few of the basics established. Plumbed toilets, I would say, are definitely on the list so that we can free up the labor. If we're going to stay low duplicate count, we don't need people cleaning toilets all day long. Uh, yeah, there's, there's just a few things. And then getting to those uh, deodorizers slash mechanized airlocks will be helpful. I'd love to get a decor item and get up to a great haul, but unfortunately, I mean, we could we could go that direction as like a tertiary goal and use an ice block. Because if, if it's cold enough there, we go into ice. So yeah, I think we start coring out the area for the ranch. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four plants. That would be the fifth one. So that one's okay if we if we nuke it. Uh, so what we're thinking... It's already six. Need to make supper. All right. Sounds good, Suds. Now, if we're going to make this our ranch... Um, we can put that there. And we'll move that. We'll put a door there. Uh, we are going to need all solid tiles. So let's say this is our ranch. 100 tiles is out to there. Right? And we can't build that there because of that thing. But can we de I think we can deconstruct that, right? That's made of glass. That's going to be helpful. And we're going to need to put solid tiles in. So let's let's talk turkey on that. Let's get solid tiles like that. Let's make sure that they also dig out this so we don't get stuck in there. 
Uh, in addition to those locations, that ice is going to melt eventually, so we're going to put that there, that there. That's the minimum we're going to need in order for us to be able to... We need to put that there, so that needs to get erased. Getting that tile in there is going to mean that we need a ladder to get up there, so we're going to slap that down right there. Um, and for now, I think we cancel that. Uh, I would like to dig to some more cracks... Uh, in order to do that and still keep a lot of our stuff going, we're going to need that there to contain our nature reserve here. And then we can dig to that crack as a priority. That's not going to help us at all. So that'll get us potentially another item. But seems to me that, uh, seems to me that all these cracks seem to be oxyfern seeds. All right, let's let it let's let it play a little bit. Now let's cross our fingers for a dedicated cook or dedicated operator. Um, you know what we could do to get to a crack is do that. No, that's risky. I don't want that polluted. Well, it doesn't really matter if that spreads out a little bit, does it? No, it doesn't. And then... This can wind up being a hall. All right, now that's five, six, seven, eight would get us to there, right? We're gonna low priority all of that, but that would be a full barracks. Meaning that we could put a kitchen back here right next to this place, right? In theory. Put all those on a four. You're going to get yourself trapped, aren't you, Ruby? We'll make sure those get dug out properly. Um, as far as time we're going to be spending, uh, today, guys, we're going to be spending as much time as we need to. Uh, like I said, I ate a ton of food last night, had some croissants for breakfast, and then scarfed some chicken tenders right beforehand. Uh, I've been taking, uh, little, little mouthfuls of honey so that I can keep my, uh, my throat going okay. Uh, so as far as food and energy goes, I'm doing quite well. Uh, as far as tiredness... Not an issue at the moment. So, I think overall we're doing fine. Uh, so, we're just going to go. It's about four, uh, a little after four my time. Usually I go until about six. We started an hour and a half later. If we make up that hour and a half on the bake back end, that'd put us at 7.30 p.m. my time. Uh, I'm willing to go till at least 7.30 p.m. Do pips give meat? We could definitely make a pip farm. I didn't realize pips gave meat. I thought they I thought they only gave uh, dirt from poop. They do drop meat. Well, boy, howdy. Half a barbecue worth. Okay. So, maybe we put the pip ranch down here. Because we could do full natural tiles here. Wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah, let's, let's put a hatch ranch here and a pip ranch here. Yes, yeah, so we could get a full pip ranch of natural tiles and have them plant arbor trees in here. 
I like that. Good call. Good call, Barb and Suds. Okay. Now, do we wild ranch them or do we actually tame them? That that becomes the question there. Wait, there is a pip down there. What are the odds that I can get this door, these doors closed with a pip down there? Tame for eggs for sure. Okay. Well, I've never done a tamed pip ranch, so we'll get some we'll get some firsts in this playthrough as well, it seems. Alright, we're almost done with the ranching tech. Um, we still don't have our rancher high enough uh, level to actually do ranching, so we're probably gonna have to mush for a while. God, I hate that. I really do hate that. I don't know why, I just do. Um, you know, in order to get a jump on that, let's uh, set up a musher right there. I do love learning. Um, <laughs> this is going to turn out like RimWorld, isn't it? I'm going to start playing on the hardest settings, and I'm never going to play on anything less than them again. At least I hope that's the way it goes. Anybody? No. Okay. Thank you, Nightbot. Much appreciated. Grooming station. Two, one. Grooming station. Or drop off grooming station. That's three. Two feeders. So right there. Yeah, it appears that we all seem to need just a little bit of pain, but only in early games, so it depends on how hard you want to start to be. Yeah, same thing with uh, same thing with RimWorld. Like, in RimWorld, if you can get past the Research Shack 3 colonist stage and be able to defend yourself a little bit, you're solid. Of course they closed it after... Frenna, Santa Frenna. Like, I'm on the hardest setting in RimWorld now, and I'm kicking ass. Uh, we're past the early game stage and on to doing, like, the fourth ending of the game in a single playthrough. So, it's liter it's the exact same thing. It's like, oh, how hard do you want your start to be? But once you figure out, like, how you like to start on that setting, I feel like, well, why bother doing anything else? I 
I do like that we don't really have to worry too much about where we slap down batteries in industry. Not that we've gotten to industry yet or anything, but... I'm going to let them do this first. Oh, we finished the research. Yeah, let's start going into hydrogen. Your base is starting to heat up. Good, good. I'm sure you're playing faster than I am at this point, aren't you, Barb? I know you like to play on like the two and the three right off the bat, right? I've, uh, I've, I've talked about it a million times, and I'll probably talk about it a million more. Um, just having fun? Good. Oh, you're on cycle six? What do you got going that you got your base heated up already? What am I missing? going to actually want to replace all of that with uh, solid tiles. That's right. Just keep them all cluttered up. Nice. I tend to play with that, like, aggressive expansion mindset, so... What's mine at? 16, 16, 14. It gets cold as you go out from here. Yeah. food but there's a machinery <sighs> can I turn down I feel like we gotta take Ren I mean, that's going to bring us into a... Okay, so 4, 8, 16. 4, 8, 16, 20. That gives us five cycles of food with that many people. We got to take on more hands. Yeah, we got to take on more hands. Welcome to the team, Ren. Let's get you a schedule and priorities, my dude. Okay, so we can take Julie off operating. Ren's going to operate first. Farm second. never do researching. You know what? I'm going to make sure nobody comes on doing researching. I don't want anybody at that research bench except Julie.
And they come in with a skill point. We're putting them into operating. Yeah, improve tinkering right away. Let's give people hats. All right, we have a new friend, and we have a bed and a table ready for them. Um, and actually, priorities, you know what, Ren? If there's cooking to be done, I want you to do cooking. We got the bigger batteries. We should kind of pop down some bigger batteries. I'm going to put a drop off there. I'm going to put a drop off there. Wood burners. Nice idea. I don't think I've ever once used a wood burner. That is a fantastic idea. Can't get super sustainable that way, Barb. I'm not going for achievements. I just want to survive on hard mode. Sudsy is all about getting all the achievements in every run, right, Suds? That doesn't need to be deconstructed. Hard mode without achievement. Well, let me let me get hard mode first and then maybe next month we'll do hard mode plus achievements. I think if, I think my first achievement run, I'd prefer not to do it on uh, an ice map. I feel like that's just a little, little too much of a challenge. What's the temp range that these need? 14 to f 15 to 40 for the for the trees, right? That in and of itself is going to be a whole thing, right? Like I like the pip ranch idea, but none of our trees are actually growing. Let's get mushing. Yeah. Stretch. I can stretch. 
Looks like our internet issue might be sorted too. I haven't seen any dropped frames today. It literally says zero dropped frames and I haven't seen it go low, lower than like 5.8. In fact, I've seen some of the best uh, kilobytes per second since I started streaming today, so. Uh, they literally changed everything. They changed the wire all the way out to the pole. They even swapped out the wire that they did yesterday under the house for a, a more newer version or whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, they did everything. New modem, new router, new wires, uh, new jumpers, new everything. All right, we got a... Wish that place that my sister lives could allow that to happen. I uh, I had to push pretty hard for that. All right, here's the problem. All right, I see where the problem is. You're gonna, we're gonna have to flip flop these. We're gonna have to keep you cooking all the time. Um, and then we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to leave Julie as operating secondary. We need someone full time on that musher. So Ren's got to be full time on the musher. kind of lurking trying to figure out something for my RimWorld game and trying to eat at the same time. What uh, what are you trying to figure out, Killer? Anything I can help with? Alright, Julie is uh, there. Um... I honestly got to say, I think putting Julie into improved carry so she can bring, I don't know. No, let's put her into field research. The bonus to science is going to make our research go faster. One of your mods. All right, that I definitely can't help with. I don't know anything about that stuff, so. That food is going to be a thing. Let's interrupt Ren now that there's a little bit of battery power. Go cook. The Platinum Lounge, rating with a party of two. How you doing today, Platinum? How is everything going? Let's do a shout out for our buddy Platinum. The Platinum Lounge. Platinum uh, came in first time uh, when we were doing some work on Project Darkwater, which is the mega project in my solo Minecraft world. Uh, is an amazing, sweet person, and their community... Uh, is also focused on kindness, support, mental health, and all that good stuff. So if you guys really like good, kind, 
people who support each other. Go give Platinum a like and a follow. Um, I hope your stream was going well, Platinum. What were you streaming today? Uh, we started a new uh, new playthrough. I don't know if anybody coming in plays Oxygen Not Included, but uh, I had a long-term stream playthrough that we put about 400 hours into and decided to retire it after we got two of the ending uh, situations. We need to actually go all the way to... Uh, we need to get that, too. A lot of stuff. Played some Alan Wake 2 today. What's that game about? I never heard of that one. We need that to run just a little bit longer. It's going to be a knife's edge balance between air and food. Alan is a writer, and, he, and what he writes tends to come true, and he accidentally creates a lot of paranormal shit in the real... Oh! The, uh, the writer brings stuff to life uh, vibe. I've definitely seen... Uh, definitely seen a few people, uh, pieces of lore, do that stuff, but it's hard to do it really well. There was that one uh, Death and Taxes, right? Man, pips have been busy, but we still don't have... Uh, I like that, I like, uh, I like that style of writing. I love Stranger Than Fiction. Yeah. I know this might sound insane, but I kind of want to wall this so that we can break some more of this for airflow. All right, Devin, let's get you into super hard digging immediately. Ruby is so close to getting that critter ranching. He was the set 13 years later. Very different, but it's a great game. Interesting. Yeah, um, I'm trying to play a few new games. Over the Halloween uh, uh, ha, spooky month, we, uh, we did Little Nightmares 2 and Limbo. Really loved Little Nightmares 2. Limbo had its ups and downs. Um, and then... Uh, Friday, I'm starting my very first playthrough of Stardew Valley, which I'm going to be co-streaming with Julie Pixels. Uh, she convinced me to give it a give it a good shake, and then we're going to be getting into Portal and Portal 2 real soon because I haven't played those, and just about everybody in the community is like, "You gotta, you gotta give Portal to Portal a try." So uh, those are on the playlist for sure. Uh, got a lot of games on the list, apparently. Ren's going to eat. That's okay. Yeah, we need more airflow here, so this has got to get built. Let's get that built at a six. I need that more than I need the ranch. Um, it's it's on the list. It's on the list. Yeah, let's just go into airflow tiles. Thanks for the nudge, Barb. It's 11.30, so I'm going to dip, but appreciate you, and I hope you can be here a bit more regularly in the future. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y yeah, any, any time, Platinum. Glad to see you. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for uh, bringing your community over uh, to hang out and uh, 
Thank you for being awesome in general. Uh, I was very glad to. I was very glad that uh, you guys randomly stumbled across uh, the stream. Um, can we put that there without that water breaking? I feel like we can, right? Ten thousand seven hundred and fifty three. Research might yeah, we gotta we gotta take research off the table. We gotta let Ren mush and uh I don't know how we're gonna make progress without it though. We do not have enough calorie income. Alright, let's look at our temperature overlay. Fourteen degrees. What does mealwood need? Ten to thirty. Negative fifteen. Twelve. Negative three. We kind of got to try and get some mealwood going. We could get it going down here. Yeah, I think that's. I think that's got to be the play. Um. I think between that and the micro musher, we might be able to pull it off. <sighs> I'm gonna get frustrated if that's one too tall, so. cooking area. We only have one person cooking. Um, I'm, uh, I'm quite worried, actually, guys. Cold maps with double hunger. This is uh, a little terrifying, to be honest with you. How many tiles is this, actually? 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. Okay, that'll work. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I got this. Okay. Ren, please mush. Camille's running, Ren is mushing. We're gonna see what that is.
We've got like a cycle's worth of, no. We've got, yeah, we've got like a cycle's worth of food left. I do not feel good about this right now, guys. I do not feel good. I don't want to have to murder some of the pips. All right, Barb, we'll see you when you get back. Okay, this is interesting, guys. I mean, we've got Ren full-time mushing, and we've got Julie full-time running. With any luck, that should get us through. We're kind of in that, like, have to, have to do what we have to do stage. Those things aren't going to be able to stay in good temperature for very long. And we're back. <laughs> are, you, are you Francis now? God, I might just start slamming batteries in down here. Or like Barb said, wood burners. Though we don't have any wood yet because the trees are all too cold. And we're back. <laughs> God, Francis is definitely... I am such a Francis fanboy. He's definitely my favorite creator, I think. Definitely, maybe, I think. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to slap down a whole bank of batteries down here after we do that. We are so close to having a rancher. All right, calories are positive with Ren nonstop mushing, so I'm a, I feel a little bit better about that. God, just let's dig into the magma channel. Yes, I have. Right down here.
pressure. Um, Arbor Trees... No. But they do need to be in 15 to 40 degree temperature. and put them in the chlorine. It's still negative 12 down near the chlorine. Okay, okay, we'll put that on the list of possibilities. Okay, I don't think we can do too much coring out at the moment. We really do just need to focus on getting the things built that we need built. Okay. Five thousand calories. Ugh. Everybody's going to starve to death. Now that Julie is awake, Ren, go up there. Let Julie run on the wheel. No, 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 no. Okay, let's switch this around. Julie, operating. Ren, I need you cooking immediately. I'm turning that off. You run, Ren cooks. That's all I want you two doing. I'm about ready to freaking put a second musher up as well.
CO2 is going to become a problem as well. <sighs> Oxygen is not included. Yeah. Right? I think getting this ranch up was premature and a waste of time. The other thing is we don't have a lot of clean water and we haven't go in, gone into uh, filtration yet. And this is the this is the problem with uh, early games in uh, any of these games is that I get so focused that I uh, I start I start giving up on talking, uh, guys. I appreciate everybody being here. I appreciate you being for the for the new start, all that good stuff. Um, focus is uh, is necessary for me at the moment. Uh, we are on a we are on a razor's edge. We almost have two cycles of food, and we've got some mealwood growing. So. We're close to balancing here. We just literally have to have Julie run on the wheel and Ren mush long enough for us to get some heat going. All right, we've got two cycles of food. No, we've got a cycle of food. I keep forgetting it's 2K with this hunger edition. Probably going to have to get more hamster wheels down. Nope, not yet. Can't even get there. We can't afford research at the moment as far as labor goes. Um, 
at the moment, our operator is mushing and our researcher is operating, so... You know what? Maybe we could swap that. Let's take Julie off of operating. Put her on cooking, because it doesn't matter, right? And put you there. Yeah. Um... Luckily, we've got 209 tons of dirt. Uh, the water situation is going to get scary soon. Food? Agriculture excavation? No. I mean, Ellie's a good dupe, but I just... We can't feed the dupes we have. I'll take the curative tablets. I would I would love to just be able to take on a couple of more dupes, but we need, we need a little bit more... Uh, A little bit more going on here. So Ren is going to eat, so we don't have power temporarily. Okay. Yeah, rusty oxidizers are a thing, Barb. What do they make? Uh, chlorine, oxygen, and iron? Or is it, uh, yeah, hot iron. And our oxy ferns are getting too cold to actually work, which is why we're having a problem here. All right. Gonna have to shift my priorities around, right? Okay, let's do some priority shifting. Julie is cooking. We have no research queued up. Ruby is tidying, ranching. Hang on. We need that to stay as a top priority for him. Okay. Uh, Devin is building. 
And then I want them to go operate next. Ren is operating and then farming. Basically, we need somebody... Uh, we need we need a second wheel up and we need people we need people running constantly. Well, this is, uh, this is going quite crazy. Um, I mean, eventually, obviously, the hydrogen is going to become a problem up here. Oh, that's right, that's right. They need salt. I always forget about that. Brine ice. I mean, you can run it through a desalinator. Desalinators also produce a lot of heat. You gotta go cook. Yeah, with Ren running full time, we still don't have enough. Thank you for the lurk killer. We don't have enough power to keep things going nonstop, even with Ren running full time. So we need that second hamster wheel up, and then we need to just kind of bank a bunch. We need two people running and two people mushing is what we need done. Turn that off. We're going to get him stuck in an infinite cycle. Everybody run, everybody cook.
Okay. Okay. We've got we've got people running, we've got people mushing. We've got air being created, we've got food being created. It's kind of like we need to just bank enough so that we don't have to worry too much for a couple of days. Like we can't we can't really expand or anything till we get more heat, more power, more food. Once we get a head, look, like once we get a few cycles of food banked, we can get, we can get some research done. God, we need so much research done. That carbon dioxide is going to become an uber problem. Because body temperature is a problem with these things. Would have thought hard mode would have been so hard. If we can get a couple of cycles of food banked, which is like getting a 16,000, we can switch Julie over to doing research back and forth, and with that, we'll be able to start getting to the point where we can get a sieve and a carbon skimmer, although running all that pipe is going to be a whole freaking other story. Um, I don't remember who suggested that. It definitely wasn't me. <laughs> no, that was you who suggested that bar ball. Oh. oh, really? Okay, beard stroking aside, we are literally just trying to bank enough food that we can get Julie back on some research. We need water sieves and carbon skimmers at this point. Like, there's no other real... I mean, I guess... How much coal do we have? Three tons of coal really isn't enough to start... Uh, to get that going, is it? That's a lot of CO2. I'd love to use the coal for heat and to help with the power, but that's a lot of CO2, so that's a problem. Oh, and that hydrogen is building up quite quickly. Do we, we don't even have manual airlocks yet. Dear God. Let's try to get to manual air airlocks. If we can get to manual airlocks, we can at least vent the hydrogen into space. I'd love to keep it all for power, but at this rate, that might cause more problems than, than good.
I, I literally can't. I don't have enough hands to keep the power on and research. Yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, when you have, like, a, a long-term playthrough and then all of a sudden you've got to research again and the order of operations just melts your brain. What is the temperature down here? I'm tempted to just keep building more batteries. Food poisoning. I don't care what that achievement is. Nope. Can't have her do the research. Go cook. We don't even have someone who can go into grilling. So it doesn't even matter if we get a grill up. At this point, I might just queue that up. Barely keeping people alive. Gonna run out of water, too. It's like we almost need to take on another dupe just so we have just so we can free up Julie to actually do the research we need to do to sustain our people so that we could bring on another dupe. You know, we've only got we got half a cycle's worth of food right now. Yeah, 95% on some of them. Man, tomorrow nether... Tomorrow nether is going to be... Uh, going to be hating me. I'm glad I didn't decide to go quick, because if I'd have pushed that two button or that three button, we'd be dead. We'd be out of food. I mean, we don't have enough mealwood down to actually feed everybody either. I think we have enough mealwood for one dupe down, because usually it's five per dupe on regular settings, and we've got ten, so that's like one dupe's worth of mealwood. We just don't have enough space, really. I guess it's warm up here. Not warm enough.
Those batteries are starting to do work. Yeah, but we don't have the eggs tamed yet. So whether we use the egg cracker or kill the pips, we lose a pip every time we do that. Um, yes, things and stuff and stuff and things. All right. Mealwood is starting to come in, plus the micro mushers, we're making some progress. Like I said, I think if we can get a bank of at least like two or three days of food, then we can start addressing our other problems. It's going to be a back and forth for a little while. God, tomorrow is going to be an interesting day. By interesting, I mean, what the fuck are we going to do? <laughs> everything. We are going to do everything, killer. All right, with the mealwood coming in and the micro mushers going, our calorie count is going up. It looks like we're probably going to get to the point where we can get a couple of days stocked. We need to get to at least like 16 to 24,000 calories. But our air is going to stop working if that hydrogen gets down much lower, which is why I've got that digging queued up because Devin needs to uh, go and dig that out. Is Devin's priority still to dig? Devin, I'm going to need you to just take a small break from the wheel and go dig that out for me. We need just a little bit more space for uh, hydrogen. Hi, Tachyon. Who's my handsome lobster? Guys, it's the kitty. Just a good baby. There he is. There he is. Killer says hi. He's a good boy. What are you doing, Bubba? No. No, 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 no. You just want to be on the keyboard, don't you? Hey. I like how he's learned that the treat bag is uh, where the treats come from. And he thinks he gets to decide when it's treat time now. Hi, beautiful. Hi, baby. Oh, you think it's treat time? Chat and Papa decides when it's treat time. Welcome back, suds. We're uh, we're frantically mushing, and I'm having Devin dig us out some more space for hydrogen so our air doesn't turn off. How are you doing? How's dinner? Bub, no, no. 
and Tack is begging for treats. Oh, that is redeemed attack treat. So it's time for treats. You ready? There's the there's the handsome. You ready? Yep, yep, yep. There they are. Spaghetti. Ooh, microphone's in the way, right? There's a kitty. Thank you for treating them, to Laz. Did you say thank you to Laz? Such a pretty boy. Um, yes. I am, uh, I am not as well versed in the, uh, the cold arts as you are, Suds. I, uh, I keep struggling back and forth. Was that, was that enough? Okay, you can have a little more. You can have a little more because you've been good today. You want more? There you go. Big treat. Big treat time. You've been a good boy. Cold arts, yes. That's the good boy. Papa's going to have some honey because his throat is uh, sore. Mm. Delicious. Although now I'm sticky. Who's a good boy? Ah, oh, sticky honey. Yes. Yes, Tack is the good boy. You got a couple more here, bub. You got one and a half more. No, you're done? You're done? Okay. He's done. He's, uh, he's done. Now he's just going to stand up on the speaker. Hi. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the madness. Okay, batteries are giving us some good temperature. I... Cold is not easy, guys. Cold is not easy. Yes, delicious madness it is. Uh, we definitely have to get down more mealwood in a way that's not going to screw us up too bad. Fourteen K. Can we get airflow tiles? Let's let's try and get airflow tiles. If we can get airflow tiles, we can start getting better airflow. Imagine that. Imagine that. Um, 
And we really need to get into some sort of CO2 scrubbing, or we need to get enough heat down here for these oxy ferns to work. But I gotta be honest, oxy ferns just aren't gonna cut it at this point, so. And if we have a carbon skimmer, we need the, the water sieve. So we really gotta somehow make this research happen. So airflow tiles, water sieve, carbon skimmer or something along those lines. Uh, and then if we have to, we can set up some sort of manual airlock to let the hydrogen out. I don't want to have to let the hydrogen out. I'd like to be able to keep it, but at this rate, I don't want the, I don't want the hydrogen choking our electrolyzer either. All right, we got enough for two cycles. We got somebody mushing and somebody running. I don't think one runner is gonna su suffice for power, but we've got a little bit banked. Not a lot banked, but. What a day, what a day. Interesting, uh, interesting back, interesting welcome back to, uh... Actually, no, Devin's the only one running at the moment. Alright, research is complete. Let's get some airflow tiles, um... Let's get one there. Fuck. Strategic nether. Strategic. Uh, let's let's do that and then that and then let's dig there and do that and dig there. And hopefully we can get that done. Now, without any research, she should go back to mushing. Devin, you're a dig builder, so go dig build. Okay. And then under the uh, electrolyzer. I think I got all the geysers uncovered. Interesting options. Yeah, I haven't even gotten to the point where I could dig out the geysers, so... You are just much better of a player than I am, Suds. I was only able to barely uncover enough to see them. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I feel like we're starting to catch up here. I think we can let Julie research. The question is, we really need to get into carbon skimmers, but to get into carbon skimmers, we also need water sieves. Let's go into carbon skimmers first, because that'll get us deodorizers, and then we could get some of this polluted oxygen deodorizing. Devin, are you eating? Going to eat. Good. Good. Go to eat, Devin. And we did leave some wild food growing as well, so that's a thing. 
I'm about to give up on the oxy ferns. I mean, they were helpful for the first little bit, but we have too many dupes at the moment for that to be even useful. Food? Fungal spore. Hat. I think we got to take the hatch, right? I mean, we had one, which looks like the only one we had on the map. Now we have a second hatch. I mean, at least we can get those rotating a little bit. Right, power is off, which is not good. Because it's it's eating in bedtime, huh? Devin is up. We don't need that down there. I don't need pips down there. I don't I don't even care where the pips are honestly socializing good job Devin you keep socializing that'll get the job done that'll keep everybody alive Just going to kind of skip through the eating and dicking around part of the day. Ren gets on the wheel. That's good. Julie comes up and starts researching. We're going to slow this back. Nah, fuck it. Let's get it on a two. God, 2 feels so fast on this, and on RimWorld it feels so slow. Hopefully Devin will actually get some work done. It looks opposite to you? What do you mean? Oh. With the with the speed. Yeah, I I I play RimWorld and one feels so goddamn slow to me at this point. I've been playing so much of it lately. Uh two looks like they're just cooking for me in this game.
I am so focused right now. We're going to need more airflow tiles. Let's put one there. an eye on the calories. Batteries look like they're doing their job and keeping the area near the, the mealwood reasonably nice. Okay. food. That's starting to sound pretty good to me. We're going to keep going for a little while longer, though. We've got to build a little burst like that, essentially. Like, I'll let him finish this ladder, but then we got to, then Devin's got to get on the wheel. We are running so low on water, too. Nice. Roast beef sandwich sounds pretty good. Pretty much everything sounds pretty good to me right now. I'm just going to eat and go to sleep. This is just, this is just terrible. Oh, no, you're not making it worse, killer. Um... There's just not really anything I can do to make this better. There's just so many issues to deal with all at once. Once she finishes that research, then we can let her get back to work. Um, airflow. Okay, so we got deodorizers. We'll let Devin build the deodorizers, and then everybody's get back to mushing and running. I'm eating baked beans with cheese and cheese quesadilla. Ah, oh, that sounds great. Quesadilla sounds good. I have no idea what I'm going to eat for dinner tonight. I'm more worried about what the dupes are going to eat for dinner at the moment. Camille is building, because why? Oh, we don't have sand. Deodorizers are pointless. We don't have sand. Could set up a rock crusher. We don't. I don't think we have that research yet. So okay, we gotta let Julie and uh, we gotta let them run and cook. Run and cook. We do. We do a run and cook session. Then we do a research and build session. Run and cook session. Research and build session. Yeah, Julie named our researcher.
We gotta go into the water sieve next, because we have polluted water. Problem is, oh, Jesus, we cannot. This is hard. If this was, if this, if we weren't playing on the ultra hard settings, I could probably do this. Oh, you'll get there soon enough, killer. You're here all the time, so I'm, I'm sure you'll wind up getting those, uh, getting the points. Okay, um... So we're basically just slapping batteries everywhere we can for the he for the heat. Running for heat and food. Like this should be enough for one dupe. This should be enough for another dupe. Then we got to get some more heat down and some more uh Welcome back, Barb. I'm kind of excited for tomorrow, actually. I think we can get over this hump tomorrow. I would love to have some Brazilian food. Killer, killer, and the death wish. Um, I don't know what I'm having for dinner at all. Um, Barb's quesadilla makes me want quesadilla. I mean, I could bring some pasta. I don't know if I could do the badass pasta right away, but I could bring some pasta. All right, let's slow down a little bit. All right, everybody's eating, and we have a day's worth of food. Um, let's try and get some progress on the water sieve. And it's going to be a matter of where we put the water sieve. Because I'd like to put it behind where the bathrooms are, but... It's like the same dough you use for pasta, but they roll it in cut and trick it. They, then they put it over the other, fill it with whatever you want. Ooh. So kind of like a ravioli? Deep fried ravioli, essentially. Ravioli sounds good as well. Now I'm getting hungry. Okay, sounds good. Share it, share it up in the Discord. Ruby, are we gonna plunge that toilet? Yes, good good job, Ruby. I finally got to the point where I, I know how to set priorities to plunge the toilet, at least. Now, Devin should get up and do some building. Uh, 
Okay. Let's say we put this carbon skimmer there. And then let's say for just a moment, like we have, that would be the sieve and then that would go there. Yeah, body temperature, that's not gonna get fixed, so. That's ready to harvest, so Ruby should go and harvest that, except they're washing their hands, so they're pro- Oh, they're going to harvest. Excellent. Just open up the mag. I mean, we don't. We don't have super duper hard digging, so we can't even crack into the magma biome if we wanted to. Soon, though. Okay, sounds good. I will check it out once I get the dupes fed a little bit more. These are going to have a hard time growing. I probably... If I had this to do all over again, I'd move the bedrooms further up and I'd put the stuff directly above here in the... Uh, Never mind. Never mind. Those were all words and they meant nothing. Everything means nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Much like the CO2, you, you just dig higher to get rid of the hydrogen. Yes, we are definitely pretending it's not there. If we have to, we'll vent it into space. And it's about time we lower the carbon pit a little bit. Um, yes. Uh, what my plan would be is to kind of staircase up here, let it vent, and then slap a manual airlock. But, you know. What did you just plant? God damn it, Pip. That delicious time to research it. Yeah, I would. I, I'm. I'm of that mind too, Suds. Uh, I'm. <clears throat> I'm not gonna vent it unless I absolutely have to because I want it for power. Are we animation glitched here?
Cool slush fill. I would love to do that, but if we uh, if if we filter it, it's going to freeze in the pipes Im immediately after the filter. So we got to find a way to heat it up, as per as per usual. Yeah, because polluted water freezes at negative 22, I believe, or something like that. But once it becomes regular water, it freezes at zero. So negative 20 degree polluted liquid. As soon as it gets filtered, broken pipes. Yep. <laughs> at this point, I'm missing the radioactive asteroids. The radioactive asteroid forest starts... Like, I, cold is just impossible. I mean, not impossible. We're getting there, but... We're just full-on battery spam mode. Like, literally, that's what I'm going to be doing, is just spamming batteries near blocks of, of mealwood plants. Like, there's there's just no there's no other the, no other tactic that's going to get us where we need to. Food. Please be food. Uh, I really honestly can't take on another dupe, as much as I would like the extra hands. Allergy is flatulent, so... I mean, ash can we could use as a cook... I want to take Ashcan, but I don't think we can afford to feed him. The beard stroke. Ah, uh, I mean, we should just go for it, right? That means we need 10k a day. We don't have slime to feed the mushrooms. Without slime to feed the mushrooms, doesn't matter. What's better than dying? Are you saying we should just hold out? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Alright. We'll do we'll do it. We'll we'll take the dust caps, we'll let them sit around. Well, well, thanks, Barb. You came from the future? Okay. What happened, Suds? Did did they did they starve to death? I used up all my water before I researched water sieve. Yeah, I'm on water sieve uh, right now. You might be done. It's entirely possible. Uh, I'm running low, and I'm trying to push the water sieve at the moment.
Death Row Gamer. Hey, how you doing? Welcome on in. Let's do a shout out for our raiders here. Shout out to Death Row Gamer. Welcome on in. How you doing today? Oh, thank you for the immediate follow. Let's uh, let's uh, go. Let's let's give that back. Following you back. How you doing today? We are uh, playing on our community monthly seed here. Uh, just got started today. We're 21 cycles in, taking it slow, uh, bouncing back and forth between making everybody run in mush and uh, trying to get enough research done so we don't run out of water. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is fun and mad and crazy. Uh, we've only got four dupes because uh, we we are on a maximum difficulty. We cranked up all the sliders and turned off the teleporters. So, this is uh, this is the first time I'm playing on this kind of difficulty, and we are gonna we're gonna temporarily turn off research. Uh, thank you for the follows, everybody. Thank you, thank you. What do we got? We got Vile Enchantress, Moose Meese, Death Row Gamer, Mrs. Dejected Lamp. G guys, thank you so much for coming in. Well, were uh, were you also streaming some oxygen not included today? I'm uh, I'm guessing. Nice, nice. What kind of what kind of map are you playing on? What kind of playthrough? Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, it's an amazing game. I've been hopping back and forth between Ani, RimWorld, and Minecraft for a while, and on Friday we're gonna give uh, Stardew Valley a try because I've never played it, and I finally got uh, got pushed into doing it. So easy, everything. Yeah, this is my first ever time cranking the difficulty up, and it is uh, it is difficult. It is full on difficult. So, we're doing what we can. Okay, I need Devin running. So let's let's noodle with his priorities a little bit. Devin, I know you're our builder digger, but let's get you running, bud. Uh, yeah, I, I've been playing on normal for a long time. I had a very long-term stream playthrough where we streamed 400 hours in the same world. We annihilated our first world second world landed on the tree world started working there got to about 400 hours and it was like you know why don't we find a way to wrap a bow around this so we built a monument and then decided we were going to open the tear so i'll be lurking while i go get kids oh absolutely death uh totally understand kids food all of it real life comes first always we're uh we're a very supportive and kind group of people here. We totally understand the real life stuff. A lot of us have chronic illness or mental health stuff that we like to uh, take care of and support each other with. Uh, I've got ADHD and bipolar and I've been through about five surgeries in the last few years, the last four years. Got another big one coming up at the end of the year. But uh, streaming, gaming, community, all that stuff keeps me going. So uh, you do uh, you do what you need to do. Take care of the youngins. We got, uh, we got plenty of parents in here too, so... Uh, okay, so we changed Devin's priorities to keep them running so the other two can mush. Uh, we are desperately in need of getting that carbon skimmer going, and I would really, really like to get uh, him and all his mod mods have ADHD as well. Oh, I'm so sorry, Suds. Well, start over. Try again. <laughs> Suds ran through all of her water before getting the sieve up, so... Uh, She's kind of stuck now. Yeah, um, I got on meds for ADHD and bipolar last December, and it has just been amazing. Took a few months to get the dosage dialed in, uh, but ever since I've had it dialed in properly, uh, I feel very good about stupid pips just planting random junk in the places I don't need it. I could throw water and ice at the magma. Do it, Suds. You know, I, that's one of the things. I was playing with Linus, like, just hanging out in chat while he was playing. And he's like, I think I got to be done with this playthrough. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Before you're done, can I recommend something? He's like, yeah. I was like, just do something stupid. He's like, what? I was like, you're done anyway, right? Why don't you test something dumb? Why don't you, like, just dig out a whole area or like run your dupes into trouble over here or do this you know what i mean so like you know if you're gonna be done anyway just do something stupid what's the worst that could happen you can end a playthrough that's already over what's the best that could happen you could save a playthrough that's almost all the way over 
Either way, you have a little fun. And isn't that the important part? Oh, man. How much of a charge do we got in these batteries? Not much. All right, let's get our calories up, and then we really got to get that sieve going. We're like, we are, we are in bad condition if we don't get that sieve up. I mean, there's a lot to build just to get the sieve fucking cooking to begin with, but... We've got a beard stroke emote, by the way. Uh, Barb Spell did that for us, because uh, I tend to stroke the beard when I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there it is. Thank you, Killer. So yeah, we're uh, we're just getting started on this world today. I'm going to be streaming this again tomorrow. Like I said, I'm going to be starting up uh, my first ever playthrough as a co-op stream with Julie Pixels on Friday. Uh, next week, we're going to swap back and forth between RimWorld and Ani for the four, first four days. And uh, if I enjoy uh, Stardew Valley, we're going to keep that going on Fridays for a little while, but at least maybe a month or two. Uh, I don't foresee hating the game. I don't necessarily foresee falling in love with it, but, you know, I've been wrong about games before. I almost didn't get Ani, so... I have multiple things on top of ADHD and bipolar has been brought up. I hopefully find a good med balance eventually. It's nice to see a community that's open about it. I'm very open on the miners. Yeah, yeah, very much here. Uh, the ones I'm on, I got on Lamotrigine and Ritalin, and those seem to be doing quite well. Uh, we started at, like, the minimum dose on both of them, and then just kind of over, over probably, like, six months or so, just kind of, like, brought it up, brought it up, brought it up. Uh, I'm not on a heavy dose of either one, but I've got a nice, like, mid-tier dose of both, and it feels just right. I take the Lamotrigine in the evenings before I go to bed, because it can cause drowsiness, and I take the, uh, the Ritalin uh, methylphenidate, I guess, because it's generic. Uh, I take that right before streams, so that I'm focused when I'm doing the thing I love to do. Uh, mornings, I can usually get by with coffee first thing in the morning, so... Okay, so Devin will run on the wheel until he damn near starves himself. Good job, Devin. Dumbass. Ooh, coffee. Yeah, I love me some coffee. I'm excited to catch more streams. I've got to get my kids settled also. I'm on Lamotrigine and Adderall and Welbutrin. It's close, but not 100% yet. Yeah, Welbutrin and I don't get along. Welbutrin caused me to be uh, suicidal. Uh, that one, that one I, is a hard no for me, but... If uh, it, everybody's body is different, so if it's working for you, fuck yeah, is what I got to say on that. You know, it you gotta it, you gotta take time to get to know your own body. That's one of the things I feel like uh, is a difficult one. You know, doctors are there to like tell you what to do and how to how to take the meds and everything, but if you don't know yourself, they're not in your body 24/7. They see you when you go in for the visits or do the calls or whatever. But at the end of the day, you gotta you gotta keep an eye on yourself. Otherwise, it's hard. Are we gonna be able to keep our temp? This is this is insanity. So yeah, usually I stream noon to six, Monday to Friday. But we got a late start today because I had to have the internet people come out and fix the thing that they couldn't fix yesterday. So it looks like it's been stable all day. We, we've had a few. Minor dips in the KBS, but nothing outside of green, and we have zero dropped frames, so I'm very thankful for that. They came out and uh, well, had to start late yesterday as well because of it, and then it totally did not work. So glad that if we had to spend the time doing it, it at least worked this time. Um, now, we don't have a lot of coal power, but we're going to get down as get as much out of what we have as possible. We can dig over to get more. It's, uh, too much to do, too few hands, especially on Max Hunger Edition. Having double the calorie consumption? God, I don't even... I, I, I'm so glad I'd never, I never took on bottomless, bottomless stomach dupes prior to this, because if, if I had... Ugh, this is... Ugh. But we're going to get it done. If I can do Losing is Fun cranked up to 500% threat scaling, I can deal with some hungry dupes. You know? God, I, I, I am loving getting this playthrough going, but I got to tell you guys, I can't wait to get another uh, play session on RimWorld. That, that game has just got its hooks into me again. 
I've got about the same hours on it. I think I'm on 1300 on RimWorld, and I think I'm on like 11 or 1200 on Ani. But God, what a what a good good group of games Colony Builders are. Body temperature is not holding steady over here. This is this is madness. Yeah, I can't wait to start a new RimWorld playthrough either. That's gonna be that's gonna be fun. I've been I've been actually practicing my uh, five hundred percent starts. Uh, it is not easy. Uh, I lost that colony I was noodling with that night. You and I were uh, were playing. God, that that is just an insane insane game. All right, let's speed up the action just a little bit here. Oh, Lazardim stretch. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, we'll get a little stretch going on here. Oh. I gotta say, knowing what I know now after today, even if we had to start over, I know like exactly how I would do it differently. Not that I could explain it, because it's more of a feeling, but... Alright. So we're on the, uh, we're on the power and food grind, and then once we get a few calories banked, we can switch back over to building and research. Ah, okay, okay, we got this. We can do this, we can do this. All right, I'm gonna slow back down for a second. I don't wanna, I don't wanna speed myself into, uh, into death here. 4,200 calories, yeah. Okay, we got two people running, and I think we should have two people mushing at this point. Yeah, we got two people running, two people mushing, and we got plants growing. So we should get a nice, uh, should be able to stack enough calories to get a little bit of work done. And we, like, yeah, we're like halfway to the water sieve. Once we get the water sieve, we're going to have to get this stuff built down here. All right, we got a day. We got today's worth of calories. If we can get a if we can get a second day's worth of calories out of these guys before they go to sleep, uh, we can spend the whole next cycle building. No seed available, so we don't even have enough seeds to get these mealwood going. Body temperature is still light there. Oof. Devin earned a skill point. Gotta get that super duper hard digging. And... Alright. Everybody's a little smarter now. up to 10k what's up barb 500 percent sounds awful it, it it is awful it's just like this though it's the start once you get past the start um because they're power hungry
And batteries serve a secondary purpose? I think. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, I'll tell you what. You go into space heaters and let me know how it goes, and I'll keep going on this path, and uh, if we both die, we can take the combined knowledge and figure out what we should actually do. All right, we're at 16K. So let's swap Devin's priorities again. And let's bring up our research. God, if we could get water sieve, if we get a water sieve cycling out our CO2, I'd be very happy. I mean, we got to do it, and then we got to get the water to it, and then we got to hope it doesn't freeze in the goddamn pipes. Speaking of which... Ugh. We might need to go into insulated pipes next. Because we're definitely going to keep the stuff rotating, but... I'm going to have to think about how we're going to do that. Because we're going to need to put a pump in here, pull water out, make sure that it stays rotating. So we'll have to have an overflow that drops it back into here. And the output will have to go through the carbon skimmer and into here so that we can continue to make water make oxygen and there's our uh, there's the link to our discord for anybody who hasn't joined the community yet if you want to come and hang out with us play along with us on the monthly seed join our minecraft smp uh just chill share pictures of food and kitties and all that wonderful stuff uh feel free come along chill with us uh also my youtube's up there i put up clips that are fun and silly and interesting and useful more fun and silly than useful or interesting but you know you know what i'm saying uh, from my streams. Plus, I, uh, I do, I do uh, scripted content for Minecraft, my single-player world, time lapses from that world, and from the SMP. Uh, a few tutorials. I put up the RimWorld VODs. You know, just just a little bit of everything. All right, let's go a little faster. God, I would uh, I would kill a man for some food and the printables. Just give me like, you know, just give me like 8,000 calories of, uh, of nutrient bars. Well, probably only be four, but like, just give me a few thousand calories of anything, please. Uh, and if anybody wants to name colonists, we've got a name colonist redemption down there for channel points. Um, we also have a uh, name pets redemption, but you can't rename animals in this uh, one and they age out anyway. So I'd recommend using those on Minecraft or RimWorld, but... Animals tend to get used as meat shields in RimWorld. Kill a dupe like on the rim. Are we organ harvesting duplicates now? We're going to need more batteries. Uh, I want this stuff built first up here, because we need that heat to keep those crops going. Good job, Devin, but, like, let's, uh, let's do a few other things. Alright, we're not quite mushing, but that's okay, because we've got mealwood that's coming in. That'll get us through this build and research cycle. We are so close on the freaking water sieve.
Okay, research complete. Refinement. I think I want to do this like... Let me think about this. So if we do that like that... All right, let's just let's just uh, let's just play the game here and let's get insulated pipes going, because we're gonna need it on this map. For for now, we're gonna we're gonna go like that, and then we're gonna liquid bridge to keep this rotating. Uh, that's the button we want. Uh, none of that's going to be worth anything without water coming down, so we're going to have to bring something down here. And that's a lot of building for Devin. Also gonna want to get more of these going. We just need heat everywhere. You know what? We could start getting our ranches going. We did, we did actually get that going, right? Uh, and I deleted that thing, so there's no place to move the pip. Okay, that's going to be interesting. And we would need to get that and that built. Is Ruby doing that? Farm, Ruby. Oh, because he's set to ranch first, so he's supplying ranching stuff. Gotcha. We'll let him do it. We'll let him do it. Okay. Guys, we're going to go a bit longer. I don't know that we're going to go a full six hours today, because even though I got some food in me before stream, it's been a long day and I'm getting kind of hungry. But since the internet is looking like it's actually working, we will be getting going on time tomorrow um, at noon Pacific Standard, which I believe is GMT plus eight. So hopefully that will go nicely and we'll get a lot more done on this playthrough. 
Uh, I would really like tomorrow to get to the point where we don't have to worry about food so much and we can start getting uh, our hydrogen power hooked up because it'd be nice to not have to rely so much on people running and swapping them around from prior food. Just give me food. Hatch eggs? It's kind of like food, but with more steps. <laughs> Alright, we're starting to get more mealwood going, so we're going to start being able to get off of mushers. Uh, we're going to have to figure out how we're going to route this stuff down here to there. Not even to there. We should get rid of this entirely and get that space back. So what we should do... We'll use this pipe to actually come up to the... Uh, to the uh, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of decisions to make. I know those weren't actual finished concepts. Leah's raiding with a party of two. All the raids coming in today. How you doing, Leah? Let's uh, let's shout out, Leah. Everybody, go uh, go follow. That's how you spell it, right? Excellent, excellent. How you doing today? Welcome to our new colony. It's madness. Everybody is starving and freezing to death. Who are you up to today? We might be raiding, but we come in peace. Have a great day, and thanks for having us. Of course, of course. How are you feeling today? I'm, uh, I'm having a pretty good health day. Uh, we finally got our internet sorted. It's been on the fritz for a couple of days now. Today, we're finally stable and streaming again. So we got a late start, but we're, uh, we're making good progress. Uh, we started this new map today. It's our community monthly playthrough that uh, we made. We uh, I posted the seed last night so everybody can play along. Uh, Sudzy, I think, might have tanked her colony out already. I think Barb is still going. Emily took off, but her colony was in good sorts uh, when she did, I believe. Uh, we're playing on a frozen forest, and I cranked up all of the difficulty settings to uh, high. I don't know if that means anything to you, but uh, still going. Good, good. Barb, what cycle are you on? I just finished four days straight playing Prey for Halloween. Didn't think I would like it, but I'm obsessed. Just got into cycle 12. Okay, so, so okay. You know, I rented play, Prey one time back back when renting games was a thing and I had a red box next door. I just couldn't. I just couldn't do it. I don't know what it was, but that game really just... But I said the same thing about Ani. I said the same thing about RimWorld. Now, between the two of them, I've got almost 2,500 hours, so... Uh, maybe I'll go back and swing around and give it another try. Uh, I did uh, Little Nightmares 2 and Limbo for Halloween. You know, puzzly platformer type games. Little Nightmares 2 was awesome. Limbo was... Mm, it's alright. It's alright. I'm not going to I'm not gonna disparage it, but... Definitely some pacing issues and kind of wonky controls, but... Puzzles were actually pretty cool. You know what? I'm not actually going to go down here. I tried it back in 2017 and it lasted an hour, but this time was different. I don't play FPS at all. Yeah, I don't play first-person shooters. There are certain games that I will play, like, first-person perspective, but I'm not a shooter person. Like, you know, pew-pew. Like, I play a lot of Minecraft, but... All right, we got to take Julie off research and get her mushing again. I think. Yeah, let's let's leave her. Let's let her mush a little bit. Admit to having it on easy mode though, and it's much nicer to not constantly die. Yeah, I. You know, we always talk about the fact that the. Uh, 
if you're having fun, you're not gaming wrong. You know what I mean? It, it, play easy. Play hard. Play play with the controller upside down. Play looking in the mirror. As long as you're enjoying yourself, I think that's what's important. Personally, you know, you don't listen to anything I say. I'm just I'm just a weirdo who plays video games on the internet. But <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it though. Okay, Ruby is pulling in meal lice. Body temperature is a little loose, so we're going to have to get some stuff done. We don't have a lot of coal, but I'm willing to burn it to save our people some time running on the wheels. While we're burning coal, I mean, we don't even have smart batteries going, so... Come on, Devin. I know you got to hold your breath to do it, but you got this, buddy. You got this. I'm with you there. The having fun is all that matters. I used to feel pressure to play everything at least on normal, but now I'm easy. I'm easy all the way if I if I of if I need it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, like when I started RimWorld, I started literally on the easiest setting that wasn't peaceful, and I never even thought I'd I'd go anything above that. Gradually over time, I got to the point where I was like, I got to go hard. But it took a long time for me to get there. Oh, my God. This is just going to be down to the goddamn wire, guys. Because not only do we have to get this stuff built, we need to get a pump in here and get stuff down to the sieve and make sure we do it in a way that we keep water rotating so it doesn't freeze in the pipes. Go hard or go home. Ah, I don't. I don't know about that one, killer. I'm willing. I'm willing to go with whatever's uh, whatever's clever. But you know me. I, I play RimWorld on uh, stupid settings. All right, that mealwood's going in a good direction. Let's get get Julie back on pipes. What was that? Don't know what that message was, but I don't like when things boop, and I don't know what the boop is about. Go hard on the rim. Let you see what it was. That's ah, fine. Do I want to keep going into insulated pipes? I don't even know. I would love to get plumbed toilets going. I just, I don't even know how I would do that at this point. We're just going to literally be spamming batteries everywhere. Ah, someone ran on the wheel until they were starving. Gotcha. I was about to ask what cycle you were on, but looked at it. Yeah, we're on cycle 25. I think insulated pipes are going to be helpful because even with the water rotating, I think we're going to be in a bad position soon enough. God, we're going to have to do some confusing piping on this one. And then we're going to have to get into refinement 
and basically use the refinement to heat up the cold water from here and put it into some place a little bit. To basically, that way we can get it warm enough that we can sieve it without breaking our pipes. And thank you for checking that, Barb. It occurred to me that if we uproot the mealwood that's already got body temperature problems down here, we could replant it in the spot we're actually trying to get good, get it good. But these body temperature settings are not doing not doing well. I don't think anybody is set to supply at the moment. All right, sounds good, Barb. Priorities. Devin is... Damn it, Pips. Do you think that you would go into nuclear power this month? Um, I don't think so, Killer. I don't think we have an, a radioactive biome on this planet. No, we don't have a radioactive biome. We do have a magma biome, so if we can get our hands on some plastic for turbines, I'll go into geothermal for sure. Grab a couple of blobs, three. Don't have sand to filter. Okay. Uh, next problem then. Ah, oh, Jesus. Um, is there any sand on the map? Very little amounts of sand. 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 Oh, God, there's sand. Okay, okay, fuck yeah. 
Um, we need the, all of that. We need all of that. Do you think... I miss asking you about the nuclear. Yeah, I mean, nuclear is fun. Um, I don't think we're going to be going too much longer, guys. I know I said I'd go longer, but okay. So let's not go into that. Let's go back to what we were, what were we doing? That stuff. But then let's go into priorities. Devin, I'm going to need just a little bit of digging out of you. So the coal generator is getting just a little bit of coal. We don't have a lot. I walk the puppers. I'll be right back. I love it on how close it was. It went, but boom. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't super close, but definitely. Like there were so many times where it was like, oh, this might be where it actually goes bad. Right, Ruby's going to be supplying that. I'm kind of hoping something is a salt geyser. If we can get a salt geyser and we could be crushing salt into sand and table salt, I'd be pretty happy. All right, Ruby's going to going to fill our water sieve with sand. Once the water sieve is, is going, we'll be able to get our carbon dioxide under control. Once our carbon dioxide is under control, we can start worrying about getting our polluted water going. What was the thing that showed you what kind of resources you have on the map? Oh, it's the uh, materials overlay. And you can swap it. You know, that's all the metals. So that's going to be the iron in red or the aluminum in red and the or the iron. Uh, that is consumable ore. This is minerals, organic, cultivatable soil, gas, liquid, uh, other. I don't know. Oh, that would be abyssalite, I guess. So you can kind of look at what everything is. Speaking of gas, okay, so that's going to start dealing with our uh, carbon dioxide. Oh yeah, we got a we got a magma biome, and this one spawned magma channels. How you doing, Pick? Um. Oh God, it is so weird to be back to the beginning. All right, what do we got over here? Let's have Devin start. Infectious polluted oxygen vent. Mm, talk about fucking worthless. Excellent. Um, it might very well be time to start coming down because we need to work our way over to this guy. Um... In fact, this is where our floor is going to be, right? So why don't we... Do that. I'd like to see what that is. And... Snow. Amazing. I'm doing good, Pick. Uh, we got a little bit of a late start, but it was because we had somebody over fixing the internet, 
Uh, we had them over yesterday, and they didn't quite handle the problem. So we had another guy come out. Supervisor even came out. They swapped everything, every line from the pole to the router, swapped the router, swapped the modem, swapped all of the Ethernet cables, all that. Guess what? It works now, and it's been stable for the entire stream. So I'm uh, about as happy as a pig in shit right now. The, uh, it was driving me nuts to not have the internet working stable. Some water, but it was too little too late. Oh, I'm sorry, Suds. What did, what were you asking, Killer? Or are you going to... What building off to the left? What are we talking about, Killer? You save scummed like six cycles back? Nice. I, uh, I got it in my head that I'm not allowed to save scum on Colony Builders. RimWorld made me, uh, RimWorld, uh, made me, made me go down that route. You try up temperature, use batteries. Yeah, we got a battery bank here. We're building batteries up here. That's uh, that's kind of the route we're going, and we're breaking water down here. Excellent. So that we really do need to immediately get over to insulated pipes. Don't even know if that's actually going to help, but. The yellow peep water left of oh this is a vent oh and this building over here is where the the teleporters usually are the uh shipping things that ship stuff back and forth between the planets but i disabled the teleporters yeah and uh and you pick uh this is my first time playing with uh, this is the first time I'm playing with all the settings cranked up. So double hunger, draconian morale, all that stuff. Like, uh, we're, uh, we're doing stupid things this playthrough. Ah. Uh. I am, uh, okay. Let's switch you over to building, bud. All right, he's going for some air. Oh, the teleporter room. Yeah, this one. Uh, this is where the you can ship stuff back and forth between the planets, but with teleporters disabled, those rooms are uh, pointless. So, this is uh, this is a bit on the intense side, guys. So we're going to be doing more of this tomorrow. You have stories to tell me? Are they are they stream appropriate stories? Oh yeah, killer. I'm going to rip it out for the materials 100%. Like this would be where the teleporters are usually in the playthrough to get your dupes back and forth. That's where the shipping is. The other shipping one was right here. I already started ripping it out. But yeah, I'll be deconstructing it for resources. All right, so this isn't even a permanent solution with these insulated pipes because they're not per perfect insulators. So this is this is going to be a thing. All right, Devin, you go to the bathroom and then it's like, dude, eat if you're starving. Oh, okay.
You had better eat. Thank you for lurking, killer. God, that's the thing about this game and RimWorld is like... It's hard for me to know how, how to stop. If that makes any sense. Like, how do you stop? Like, I'm in the swing of things. Like, I'm feeling I'm feeling sleepy, I'm feeling hungry, but, like, it's like, yeah, but I'm in the swing. If I, if I stop, then I won't be able to get things done. But then there's the other part of you that's like, yeah, but if you keep going, your brain's going to get soggy and you won't. There were a couple that got divorced. She cut all, and I mean all, of his clothes. Wait, your, your mom and your dad? Like, your mom cut all your dad's clothes and threatened him with a knife in front of the cops. Wait, are you talking about your mom threatening your dad and cutting up his clothes? Or are we talking about... What? 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 Yes? No? They're friends. Okay. Oh, right, right, right. That whole part where I have to connect the two sentences that you said. Gotcha. You know what? We are, uh... I will leave room for six dupes total in here. But then I want to, uh... I want to put some more plants over here, I think? I, I don't know. Hang on. Let me let me cancel that. Let's, let's just deal with what we got right now. Just building her house in the condo I live in. <laughs> That's awesome. That coal generator did help get us some things done. And these are keeping these guys alive. Oh, we are filtering. You know what, though? Um, I don't want to filter the air. I'm uh, I'm going to deconstruct these. Uh, there's not enough sand for me to want to do that. Uh, we will crush some rocks if we absolutely have to, but... Uh, I can't wait to get some refinement going, too. Refinement's going to help dramatically. Yeah, but we're going to be able to get hydrogen power going soon. And by soon, I mean tomorrow.
God, insulated tiles take so long. funny thing is, is like, we don't even need a smart battery, because we just, we need all these batteries to have as much power. We're gonna burn through all the coal we have in stock before we run out of a need for this generator to be on. We have so many batteries that it could fill up. They do, even more when you don't go for high, high skill builder. Yes. And we definitely didn't go high skill builder. We went We went more passion over skill. So Fucking Devin. I'm thinking maybe we go until we see what the next printable is. I don't think we should take on another dupe, but I would love it if we got some uh, something helpful. We've got a lot of dirt. We are going to have to get the temperature up enough to do pip ranching for sure. I mean, considering we're on cycle 27, we've got four dupes. Um, we've almost got two days worth of food on deck. Or three days. We've got two days already. We've almost got three days of food. So our food is starting to go in the right direction, although the meal wood up at the top is starting to have, uh, have issues. Uh, we're going to have to get the rest of those batteries built and kind of create like a little heat wall going up there. All right, Devin's going to get that last segment, and then we can bring in some water again, and hopefully... As Francis would say, a little uh, judicious snipping. Um, would you guys like me to start posting these as VODs? I could do that. I was thinking about that, actually. Because I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, the VODs seem to do okay for RimWorld. Uh, obviously not as good as some of the, like, time-lapse stuff and whatever, but... No, no, it wouldn't demand too much work. I would just have to download it and upload it. Make a few notes on uh, what we did that day. Okay, new printable. What do we get? More hatches. God, why did you have to be a kitchen menace? I would consider taking an another dupe. If they, if they were a cook. No, at that point, hatch eggs. I mean, that's going to fill our hatch ranch. And we've got 208 tons of igneous, so... Okay. I'll, uh, I'll post them.
I have a feeling eventually this stuff is going to come down in temp quite far, but we might get a little bit of filtration out of it before it does. It's already it's already dropping in temp. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to call this a little bit early. Uh, I mean, time-wise, we're later than we normally go. Uh, run time-wise, we're about a half hour short. But I'm getting hungry, and more important than that, I'm getting to that point where the brain is soggy enough that I feel like I'm going to make mistakes. We got a hard timer right here. So th things got to get done to make this not to, to not die. It's been a while since I just walked for no reason. Yeah, yeah, killer. I, I, I think last time you came in, it was still pretty late in the game, uh, or it was pretty late in the game. So yeah, it's it's uh, it, this is interesting. Uh, definitely a different challenge between the cold and the high high settings. It's definitely a challenge. Uh, I would like to see if anybody is uh is online that we can raid today, since I uh, since I've had the energy and we're doing all right. Let's see who's uh oh you know who's online is Julie. So we're gonna we're definitely going to bug Julie. Alright. Guys, you know Julie. You love Julie. She is an amazing friend, streamer, and we are going to be doing a co-stream of Stardew Valley starting on Friday. So let's go show her some love. Uh, she's still working on her all achievements run. I think she's getting close, so let's go cheer her on a little bit. I'll be back tomorrow, normal time, noon to 6 Pacific Standard, which is GMT plus 8. It's been amazing, guys. This has been super fun. I'll see everybody tomorrow. Take care and be well.